Whistleblower, there's also um, a, just a Phantom Rogue. Gloomstalker. Yeah, there you go. The Broomstalker, that's what it was. I don't there's think there was a... Gloomstalker there is a be Ranger a... subclass, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. There's yeah. also Shadow Magic Sorcerer. Mm -hmm. There's Shadow Monk, Wave Shadow, or whatever. I think there's there's nothing for Wizard, and there's nothing for Fighter, really. I wish there was something for Paladin. Oathbreaker, kind of? Yeah, kind of. Uh, eh. Less darkness and more just evil, I would argue, though. Yeah. Well, to be fair, the good thing about Oathbreaker Paladin is the... Third level, I think it's third level anyway, where you get add your charisma modifier to all your attacks, something like that. Yeah. So, does anyone else see the little like icon? The little frogs. <laughs> yeah, what? Not? What is that? Yeah, I just noticed that we're all little frogs and Lou is a book. And it's oh says... yeah, um, that... right now what? you're chilling. Yeah, you can change your status. I just haven't changed mine. There's a gonna be I be one. I think now I'm a bunch of books and it says telling a story. <laughs> I see, okay. I, think... I wonder how the like did it just automatically add the chilling when whenever they added this feature, I guess? Probably. Probably because of the default one. Yeah. All right, well, I think we're all here. Unfortunately, we're missing one of our people. Uh, I do have someone who's interested in joining the game. Actually just uh, messaged me about 10 minutes ago, so that was random. Oh. But obviously, oh. I don't think he's going to have time to join today. Um, Within 10 minutes? Probably not. Yeah. So, at least for now, it will be the three of us, and, uh, yeah, we'll, I assume we'll return next week. Just the two of us. All well, three of us. Just the well, four, four of us, of technically. Us. Technically. <laughs> it's just the four of us. You're a part of this story as well, <laughs> It's true. Don't ever hold yourself down. Yeah, with your DMBCs. I do, uh, spin some stories now and then. All right, Can't well, tell your story. Uh, let's see. We have LJ, a scribe today. Uh, Where's my notepad? Onvir is the previous scribe. Eldwin was supposed to be up for quartermaster, but I think you guys are keeping LJ quartermaster. If he yeah. wants it, yeah. Okay. He's the one who understands the madness <laughs> yes. that he created. There's a method to the madness, which I understand. He, he has the method. <laughs> Alright. Uh... But yeah, I think I'm just it and just giving away the um, things if anyone wants it. But I think right now that's just me with me. Giving away the what? Giving away the whatever it was. Inspiration story point, whatever it was. Oh, well, there's no story points for doing... Uh... Quarter master so anymore. Was, so it was the inspiration. That's what it was. Uh, well, no, it's just uh, there is a story point for doing scribe, but quartermaster is just sort of like something that there needs you. to be done. Uh, inspiration is for MVP, and at uh, some point I might give it for. I try to remember to give it for people doing in character stuff, but I don't always remember. Yeah, so. I keep telling yeah. myself I need to like nominate people like help Lou out by like like let's nominate each other when we're like we think someone does something really cool you know or really clever or whatever you yeah. know i think the last one that i remember is when lj did the boulder supposed oh, to no, be uh use mine yeah i mean it's supposed to be stuff that's in character is what gives right. inspiration right. um but all right well so lj is going to be on quartermaster uh on veer guess um i was gonna go make myself a quick cup of coffee i thought i had already but i just realized i didn't turn the thing on so uh do you want to give a recap and i'll be right back yeah it's easy
All right. Uh, so we continued with all. We started off with all the Mimphids, or whatever they were called, the elemental ones. Uh, we continued the battle and managed to take out the rest of the elementals, but it was a close fight and quickly and quickly put the plan back in motion. I fly up to the Sunstone while the others look out for more elementals and finish up. And we all dash to the ship, uh, but we come across the wizard that we saw earlier in town. He introduces himself as Tarkana Reeve, and he wants to know where the ones who can read the ley lines, um, uh, but none of us want to tell him. It doesn't seem great, but another figure appears named Diedrich and tells him that we aren't allowed to, to interfere with Zatia. Uh, which seems very, uh, which he seems very displeased and surprised at us being. Uh, but this, he summons his minions to fight us, and Diedrich decides if uh, Takana is going to interfere, he will too, and heals us all. Uh, we get into the fight uh, proper. Most of us get very low, but we manage to deal with most of the enemies, but leave in the heat of battle. Yeah, that was only half a coffee making break. <laughs> yes. yes. I could have put so much more in, but I'm like, look, that gets the details across without it being like 14 messages. <laughs> 2,000 years later. Oh, that's how I felt trying to launch Discord just before. I, I was trying to launch Discord for a solid like five, ten minutes there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Same thing happened to me. Like, I, I joined Roll20 and like, chatted to Lou that I was here because in, in Roll20 because I Discord was loading and downloading and installing updates for so long. Discord was being Discord. <laughs> yeah, Discord's updates are so dodgy. Like, they won't have any, and then they'll have, like, one, and then it turns, it downloads one update, and then all of a sudden that's six updates. <laughs> I think I might do one of Lou's respecs on Nasira at some point. I like Nasira, um, but... I don't know. I just I had I the the cleric level was kind of part of her backstory, and just because I like having a spell or two in my back pocket, I don't like being a, a complete just marshal. Um, and you know the mercy monk was just like a subclass I hadn't tried before, but I think I could probably respect her a little bit and make her a, a little a little stronger. Um, she's a bit squishy. She she punches hard, but she's a bit squishy. So. Can you respect to Subprocess as well, or no? Um, I think you can change. You're not supposed to change classes, but you can change subclasses in the respec, I believe, Lou. I'm pretty sure it's in the rules. Yeah, um, it's it's like basically anything, but I think class and race, if I remember right. And I might not even like race. Might be one of the things you can, especially if there's like an in-game reason why yeah. he was cast. Yeah, I was just telling them I I might want to respect Nasira at some point. Like her was a little bit experimental. Boom. I like her though. I just I, I think I could have maybe made some better choices a little bit with. I get where you're coming from. Like if I if I remade Onvia now, knowing like everything I know, I'd probably dump his charisma and intelligence a bit and make him a bit beefier. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't think I'm going to do it immediately. It's just something I've been thinking about that I'll probably do at some point. Um, oh, God, yeah. I get what you mean. To be fair, I already respect... When you build a character that's already mid to high level, like, when you build them, it's... You you don't... Like, like when you, when you get to play the character and level them all the way through, you make your decisions with more knowledge of how you act. You've already been in battle with that character. You've already kind of gotten a feel for that character and, and you, you make choices like, oh yeah, I'll totally use that. And when you're building them all at once and they're higher level and you're making a lot of decisions at, at once, sometimes you maybe don't have as good a reason for some of the things you pick, I think, you know? Yeah. Oh, 20. Don't do this now. Alright. <laughs> so, Eldwin is gonna be poofed out. Um, and yeah, we are ready to go. Uh, you were fighting the fire salamanders uh, on the 79th of spring at 4 p.m. Unfortunately, with Eldwin poofed out, I think the salamander is the next to go. So, I'm probably gonna go unconscious. Let me no. see. Right behind you. <laughs> Let me see, what was he doing? Uh, well... This is the AU version where we bring in someone else. 
Oh yeah, can we have bowl? Oh, not Boulder Bottom. <laughs> um, Dosho or sure. Dosho or somebody like have come have, back yeah. up to check on us or something and join. That's also a valid question. Does Soul is Soul going to disappear with Eldwood? Oh yeah. Uh, no, we can leave Soul in. Okay, I just wanted to clarify. Yeah, this is the often reality version where someone else has the necklace, not Eldwood. <laughs> he's been told he's allowed to follow someone else's commands. <laughs> All right. Well, how about? Well, and Eldwin's in the background anyway, so... Since Eldwin's yeah. in the background, he'll take this guy with him. Uh, no. So, uh, we'll Bye. say they're they're fighting in the background. Uh, well, that saved me, so I'm happy. Right? <laughs> Alright, so the snake would go. Oh, that's um, right, we have we already have an NPC in this, and he's dying. <laughs> God. Yeah, don't forget, if he bites, he's just gonna die. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the snake is not gonna bite. I think um, the snake is also on fire. Yeah. Uh, so can I? Can I? Yeah. So I'll take damage, and then he'll use his action to put himself out. Oh yeah, the uh, fire guy. That's right. Was that what he was on fire from? The flame monarch. I'm pretty sure. All right. So let me remember. Four d six. Is it that much? Uh, if well, hang on. So, immolate or immo, immolate, immolating, that's the word, immolating crest, which is, I believe, what he was hit by. Uh, so, if he is on fire, he takes 2d6 at the start. Yeah, I thought that, I thought that every round one was less, so yeah, 2d6. Uh, no, I'm, I'm thinking of when you hit him. Right, so yeah, yeah. Five points okay. of fire damage to the snake. Luckily, three of that is temp. Okay, and then the snake uses his action to put out the fire on himself. Okay. Snake That's... is no longer burning. Uh, anything else? Nope. Okay. Anvir. 10 HP for the snake. Thank you! <laughs> Keep the um, it alive! <laughs> Anvir is scared. Uh, hold on. Let's have a look at what spells I have at the moment. Okay, I will... Met die. Back back down, just a tiny bit down to heal. <laughs> yeah. And... How many low-level spell slots do I have? I have a lot of low-level spell slots. I will do a first-level Guiding Bolt at this Monarch game. <laughs> All right, so you blast at the monarch. Uh, yeah, twenty-seven will strike. The salamander takes seventeen points of radiance and is uh, uh, someone will have advantage on the next attack. What and was then... the... Yes. What was the widening bolt that me and Nisera have on us? Involved? That's the fire. We're on fire. You're burning. Fire. And you. I'll just move over here a bit. Alright. Uh, the Monarch goes. Hmm. Oh, just for the sake of fairness, I would have taken fire damage as well. Yeah, 2d6. I'll also quickly do a concentration check, because I definitely need to do that, no matter what the damage is. 7 fire. All good. And then I'll sort that out. Alright. So, luckily, his uh, fire emblem is not uh, burning yet, has not recharged. <laughs> hmm. Uh, and what is this over here again? Daylight, Four. isn't it? 
Dawn. Dawn. Yeah. All right. Dawn. Uh, so he conjured the elemental. Alright, I think he is going to attack Nasira with his trident. Okay. Oh crap, I just remembered Bolly's bleeding out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll get him. I know. <laughs> I thought maybe you didn't have uh, anything for him. <laughs> no, I just completely forgot. <laughs> Alright, so he have... swings his trident, stabbing down at Nasira. Uh, Two-handed, he does not have a shield. First attack, 13 will not be enough, and she will dodge. Uh, second uh, attack. I will use my sentinel and reaction attack. All right, you do an attack. Uh, 23 would strike, uh, provoking right. heated body, dealing 14 mm -hmm. fire damage to you. Uh, but she would do 15 back. I'm burning, help! Uh, so that would also put the creature to badly wounded, as its uh, battle wounds are starting to add up. Uh, second attack on the Sierra 21 will strike you, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, so it will stab you for 27. Oof. Oof. 17 piercing and 10 fire. I think that puts me under half. Yeah. And then it's gonna tail slap you. Uh, which luckily will miss. Um. Creature will then move five. It's one attack with the trident and one with the tail. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, I thought, I thought that the tail was the one that hit me. But... I mean, it missed anyway, so... Well, no, he did two. He did two attacks with the trident. Oh, yeah, the I, I was thinking that, that that second attack with a tail until you said that All the right. third attack. Was uh, the tail. well, let's say he hits you with the tail then. So you would have taken sixteen instead of uh, what was it? Whatever Twenty-seven. Yeah. So I add back eleven. 11? Yeah. yeah. And she's nice. going to move down this way. Uh, that's it for her, Nasira. All right. Restrained now. Um, am I restrained? Because that was a tail. That's what it says. Oh, tail hit. Yeah, true. Since it was a tail, oh, shit. Uh, you would okay. be grappled and restrained. Oof. Well, I know that LJ can do more damage than me, so I think I'm still going to use my action to heal Voli. I guess I just has to be magic instead of. Oh, and at the start of your turn, you would take seven fire. All right. Um, I will shoot a. Oh shoot! Oh, this is bad for Voli, because he doesn't go until after that guy that's standing over him. Hmm. Be like. Seal, get up here and help Bully. <laughs> um, hopefully he can distract that guy. All right. Uh, Nasir's going to heal Bully. Okay. Uh, oh, well, that's not what you wanted. <laughs> so Bully gains six, uh, being. Pulled back from the brink. And I think... So he is no longer dying. Can I... Oh, he is still restrained and still uh, on fire. I'm gonna use my last key point to disengage. I think. Um, well, you are restrained no. right now. 
Oh, oh, okay. So the disengage wouldn't get me out of the restraint. That's right. That makes sense. Sorry. I was thinking Step of the Wind was more like, I was thinking more of Misty Step. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Need okay. To okay. So then uh, I, all right. He's probably going to die this round anyway. Hopefully LJ's going to mop him up. So I guess. When did the guy move? After you took your oppie. Because it's speed is zero for the rest of his turn. No, that's only if the the opportunity attack was from movement. I'm pretty sure it's it's it does stay. I'm pretty sure it's only oh yeah, that okay. One specific type of yeah, attack. it's not it's any awesome. oppie. It's just if he tries okay, to move, yeah. then you stop him. But... Hey, give me two. All right. I just uh, I don't think I have any anything to do then as a bonus action since I didn't use my action to attack. Um, so I guess that's my turn. All right, Seal goes. He is going to heal for 10. Uh, he is not sure what you want him to do about Bully. Let me see. Hurling Flame oh, has been check. ineffective. <laughs> These are his least favorite enemies to fight. I also think he's in a very or form to fight at the moment, isn't he? Because isn't he, like, polymorphed into a human at the moment? Uh, is he? He's uh, smaller than usual. I'm pretty sure Eldwin had, yeah. like, got him to polymorph to try and get out of restraint. Uh oh. Okay. Right. Uh, that I, might be uh, why he's small. Alright, so he's just gonna come over here uh, to offer flank and take the dodge action, I guess. Because he doesn't really have much he can do. Oh, they're gonna kill. <laughs> they're gonna kill Bully again. <laughs> Fifteen temp for uh, for Sol. Okay. Actually, I have his name on my list. Too. I forgot about that. All right. So the captain is gonna move. He's gonna let go of Bully. Uh, move here, and he is going to attack. Leo with his multi attack. Uh, so, spear and tail. Uh, so, actually, first he'll use his tail, hoping to wrap you up. He has advantage because of the monarch. Oh, but a poor oh. roll. So, you'd miss. So, then he'll do his spear. Oh, another poor roll. Uh -huh. Very lucky. Uh, so that is going to be it for the captain. So I don't think he has a, uh, let's see if a bonus. Hmm. No, nothing that would be much use. Okay. Well, that would have been good to know before. Uh, Alright, so that's it for him. LJ. So you would take... How much? Five fire damage. The start of your turn. I feel like your chance this isn't going to go well. Um, I say Nisera. Oh, that's fine, right, Frick? I'm using my last purity of dice to bait and switch me and Nasira, and give Nasira the uh, AC. Thank you. Uh, could you Seven link the actual description of that ability? Uh, yeah. Wait a second. Yeah. There's bait and switch. Okay. So she. Oh, because I was was I incapacitated? I. I don't think so, but let me double check. I don't think restrain does incapacitate you. Luckily. Uh, restrained. No, uh, because incapacitates like you can't take actions and stuff, right? Yeah. 
Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think you're okay. So maybe you would just pull her over there. Um, what's the tail's range? It's 10 feet. So you'd still be restrained, but now you're over here. And you have a high AC. Um, I will attack uh, the big guy. Alright, uh, 24 will strike. Doing oh nine points of slashing uh, on the first attack. Um, How much damage should I take? Uh, you would take eleven fire damage back. Hey, Andre, you better pick me up. Attack again, <laughs> twenty-one. Yeah, 21 will strike another time, doing 12, uh, which will burn you again for 16, Oops. which will put you unconscious, or uh, You dying. probably should have changed ah. your things a bit. You're still marked as just wounded. It's been two weeks. Give me a break. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, uh, you also just took, like, four low. damage. Alright, so uh, oh, yeah, as he strikes the creature, a spurt of flame will just badly burn him and he'll fall to his knees. Uh, not unconscious, dying. Oh. Uh, and one level of exhaustion. Which I assume, do you have any levels? Nope, this would be my first level. Okay. Uh, what's the timer on you? Uh, it was for the ring of jumping. Oh, alright. Alright, so that is, uh, I assume it for LJ, as he is now dying. Correct. Uh, Voli, unfortunately, is still on fire. So he Can't will take uh, six oh. and immediately fall unconscious again. It's exactly exact what I mean, The exact amount. <laughs> Did he not have any temp? No, oh yeah, this was his turn. He he didn't get tempted. I wasn't tempted. sure. Oh god. Yeah. Can't you oh, ability also res people? What ability? I, th I thought uh, on Vias Twilight. Can uh, I no, he can give him temp HP now if he wants. His turn is ending. No, I'm talking about give him temp HP or take people up from down. No, 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 I, 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 no. absolutely. You're not. thinking of a completely <laughs> different spell that I had cast, which was fifth level. That, yeah, that. I think it can yeah, remove no. some effect, but it's yeah, not frightened and charmed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's temp HP or charmed or frightened. All right. Also, count my temp HP even though I'm down. So he gets 17 temp, though he is down and dying. Uh, oh, yeah, I should do that for Leo as well. <laughs> yeah, you yes. give. Protect his corpse, or protect his dying body. Uh, Alright, new rounds. It's gonna be the snake. It's gonna be um, me. I guess he's gonna slither up. I gotta remember how much uh, movement he has. Is it? Just just commit Sebaku by biting the snake, the bloody uh, monarch. <laughs> I, he's... I don't think it's worth it. He actually it. might live with the temp. Uh, Possibly. I guess... It... I'm just nah. beating into yeah, making yeah, it. Yeah, he's going to try and go. Yeah, he's going to try and go up. I don't think he can make it quite that far. So here. And then... um, Hopefully I'll offer some, some flank. Yeah. It... it he wouldn't do enough damage to make it worth it, and he'd go down. So that, that's that's his turn. Well, these guys are. Um, I can't remember I have... if they were poisoned. Oh, me, this one they? doesn't do fire, does it? I think they all did. They I all, remember. They're all fiery, but no, uh, the they're not. Dodging. They're not poison immune. They're... Oh, they're not. No. Uh, okay, well, then Unveer. Then he'll bite. Oh, all right. Sorry, but he misses anyway. So that's yeah. Go all right. Ahead, so he lunges, but is knocked back. Unveer. I'll do another guiding bolt. Uh, at the monarch. Oh. Yeah. And just right. to add insult to injury, I'll make it second this time. Yeah, could you? 
Did you bring up Volley and LJ? No, that's a valid point. I keep forgetting about healing people. <laughs> um, I will instead do a second level healing word on... Hmm. Who? <laughs> Ah, it's up to you. I'll just do it on LJ for now. Alright, so... A... LJ uh, is brought back from the brink once more. Uh, given uh... 13 Ooh, points of healing. Though still on uh... fire. I'm back from the dead! Oh, valid point, so am I. <laughs> Alright, uh, so... You would take ten. Yes. Oof. I mean, covered by all my temp, thankfully, but still oof. Uh, not that it really matters if I keep holding concentration, but I'll check anyway. Yeah, and action told the dead. <laughs> Alright, and that's against the monarch? monarch? Yeah, against the monarch. Try and get him down. All right, so the monarch will attempt to resist uh, with wisdom, and Oof. she will. So she does not take anything. I think that's the first wisdom save I've made her do. God damn, that's a hefty score. Yep, she's pretty hardy. Uh, is that it for you? I will move to like up here a bit. Okay. Um, yes. So the monarch goes. Oh, I'll uh, I'll I'll do the turns. You don't have to do the checks. It goes quicker when I do it anyway. Uh, so she does not recharge her ability. Thank God. <laughs> we all go down in one fell fiery burst. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure it was eight d six damage, so we probably would have. Mm-hmm. She does not like you shielding people. Does anybody? Uh, yeah. She is going to... Oh, wait, no, she knows that she can't do that. Because she tried that earlier. Uh, you what are move? still... Well, disengage. But you are still prone, so you would have disadvantage. Oh, and you dropped your what weapon, too, actually. Hmm, maybe she will do it. Uh, yeah, since you are prone and you have not picked up your sword yet, she is going to move, giving you an oppy. I guess you could punch at her if you want. I will punch at a fucking hell of a so bad I, I gave him that 10 HP when he was down. Alright, yep. so you would take an unarmed attack at disadvantage, spending your I reaction. I, <laughs> I mean, you could still stop her movement. Oh, that is going to miss her regardless. With a 17? Uh, oh, uh, well, disadvantage, though. So maybe. I might hit her. Uh, uh, just a day. All right, so you Ooh. would punch her. <laughs> so you deal uh, your one plus strength. Which, yeah, that would be six points of bludgeoning. If that's what killed her, that would have been the funniest thing. Just like a punch to the back of her head. Uh, could you link your ability? Does it require you to have a weapon to do this? I forget. I don't think it does, but I just want to double check. When you hit a creature with the opportunity to uh, okay. uh, disengage. Yeah, so no. you don't have to have a weapon. All right. Now she's uh, gonna come you. Yeah, so she will uh, indeed stop as you like grab her leg and she's hissing. Uh, and she's going to stab down. Uh, first, oh, well, wait, how much damage I take? Oh, that's right. You did uh, punch her. I did hit her. She just goes unconscious immediately. <laughs> Thirteen <laughs> fire. Thank you for that temp. Uh, so <laughs> she is gonna stab down at you with her trident. Stabby. Yep. Uh, Twenty-two. Just hit you. Shit. Yeah. Actually prone, so twenty-four. True, yeah, that would be advantage. Uh, so you would take 20 points of fire damage. I'm down. Again. Putting you, un or not unconscious, uh, to the dying state. Two levels of exhaustion. 
That's what we're talking about. Woo! I'm back. Yeah, but this guy can't can't get me now, which is fucker. Um, yep. So you're welcome. Dying. Nope. Still on fire. Uh, yep. So that is well. I guess she'll. Uh, hmm. She's still holding the Sierra with her tail, so she's gonna tail Down strike us. Even, even though he moved me. Yeah, because she has a ten foot reach, so mm -hmm. that wouldn't okay. break it. Uh, so I believe twenty two would strike you. No, because I've got the increased AC from. The oh base right. Suit. Yeah. Um, I also hate to break it, but it says can automatically hit the target with its tail. Oh, it's just like squeezing you. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I sort of remember that. That's why I was bringing that that description gotcha. up. So yeah, that would automatically hit you as long as you're grabbed. So you would take 17. So luckily, you do have that temp HP. Mm -hmm. uh, she can't move anymore, so that is it for her. Uh, so in the Sierra, you would take the 17, and it is your turn. Uh, and and you your would... AC bonus disappears now. Okay. And you would take another seven because of the burning. Okay. Okay, so that puts me below. Oops. <laughs> uh, I just gave myself 518 hit points. <laughs> God. I was trying to replace the eight with a one, but instead I just inserted the one. <laughs> Is that okay. even more... <laughs> it probably is possible. No need. <laughs> I mean, you could probably get an effective hit point close to that with Barbarian, but not an actual hit point. All right. Well. Um. So both Voli and AJ are down, right? Yeah, they're both dying. But if I Even use my action, you're to doing it up, too. Yeah, but if I use my action to bring them up, then this is just going to keep on happening. So Onvir, I need you to, I need you to bring one of them up. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a punch at this guy. All right, so you wouldn't be able to move still, but you could punch. Oh, it would be a shoot. disadvantage, though. Can I, can I punch the guy that's holding me? I don't think so, because you can't reach her at this point. Can't you uh, try to escape or attempt to escape? I mean, I guess <laughs> technically you could attack her tail since you, since she's holding you with it. That would make sense. Okay. Well, the whole reason I was attacking this guy was to move him and then move down to attack this one. So, um... Uh, Did you take let's... the seven? Yeah. Oh, you still have one temp HP. Did you uh, forget oh, about okay. that? Oh, okay. I, I did forget about that. All right, so then so you'd be one, one back here yeah. and yeah, and then that. So yeah, I guess you could attack her since okay, technically her tail is gonna, wrapped around you. I'll pull out one of my boomerangs and send it at this guy. All right, that would be a disadvantage. Um, you well, I mean, you could just. I guess the boomerang would prevent the heated body, though. All right, go go for it. Boomerang. Ah, uh, yeah, seventeen would strike. And Actually, I wanna... not one because restrained. Oh yeah, that's true. You are at disadvantage. <laughs> Actually, for I'm that not, and for being uh, Jason to this guy. How about that I one? keep helping Lou out today. <laughs> yeah. Do you want uh, to stop? No, that's fine. It's, uh, I have to do it right. Uh, yeah, 19 would strike on the second throw. I got to put one of those boomerangs back. And then um, I'm going to use Crusher to move him this way, five feet, so that I am no longer grappled. Okay. Uh, how much damage do you do? Oh, good, good question. Because <laughs> it might not matter. Uh, Eleven. Yeah. So the creature flies back, falling into a dying state. Yes. Okay. Then I'm gonna move. <laughs> and at least this way, maybe the people we bring up this round will actually make it. All right. So I'm gonna get rid of that, and then I'm going to move here for the flank. And use my last key point to flurry of blows. Uh, all right. On the big guy. So you would have flank. Oh, Aha! that would crit on the first hit. And there's something that happens with Crusher that I always forget on a crit. Every attack is advantage to your turn. Okay, so then I get to do my last punch at advantage. Yeah. Right. 
Uh, 24, yeah, we'll strike again. All right. And then I'm going to stand over Volley, and then, um... Hmm. Yeah. I don't know what else I can do. That's my turn. Alright. Uh, Seol is uh, going to gain 10. He's just going to punch the downed creature. <laughs> is it going to burn him? Oh, wait. He's, he's resistant anyway, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. He uh, should be anyway. Oh, wait. He's in human form, actually. I don't think he can use oh. natural attacks in human form. Uh, yeah, I think he's just going to use his action to regain slot form. And, uh, do some punches next turn. Uh, alright, so that's it for him. Captain. Is very angry Captain, my Captain. about what you did. Also, LJ, you don't have any hit points. You have zero, I assume, right? Yes, I'm still down. Alright, uh, so he's going to stab at Nasira. First with the tail, trying to grab you. Shh. Misses with that one. Then a spear attack with two hands. Uh, 26 will strike. Yeah. Uh, stabbing you for 13 and two fire, so 15 points of damage. Um, so Just making I, sure you saw the 15 temp. Yeah, that's exactly what the hip... Yeah, thank you. Yep. Alright, uh, so that is it for him. Uh, LJ. Uh, uh, oh, so you're down... So you automatically fail one death save because you're on fire. Yeah, now you roll for another one. Another. So whisper me a death save. Oh, Fuck. How dare you break my macro world 20. Uh. Where's that? Oh! Oh. Uh. Do you have a story point? I do. Uh, have you do used a story use point then? this battle? Yes, yeah. I think I did. Oh, alright. Uh, well, then LJ would die. I'm very glad that I spent that week making a scroll of Revivify. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, so Voli will fail a save. Uh, since he is burning, dying. Uh, not dead yet, though. New round. I suppose the temp HP to help with the burning at all. <laughs> Uh, okay. oh, true. That's true. They did have temp HP. I um, think I've won, though. I've got to try and get whatever I can. Right? <laughs> yeah, I guess technically... <coughs> oh, but I think it's just if you take damage, you fail? Yeah. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter how thing. you take damage. Yeah. Yeah. take damage. yeah, yeah, I don't think temp HP protects you from, uh... The only thing it would protect you from is death by massive damage. So, like, if you got hit for, like, a hundred, like, that might, you know, take away enough that you wouldn't die from going too negative. Uh, but it wouldn't do anything against death. Uh, death save fails. Uh, alright, so the snake goes. He misses. He swipes and misses Anvir. Uh, well, uh. Got an shall... aid in your pocket? <laughs> I don't think aid would help him because he's still dead. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. I was thinking, I guess I was thinking before he died, you could have brought up him and Voli in one fell swoop. It's a nice low level spell to bring people up, multiple people up. <laughs> Uh, um, I, th I think I might have it, but yeah, it doesn't really help right now. Yeah. Uh, bonus action, I'll get Volley up with a healing word. Alright. And then I'll just do a Toll the Dead on the Alaska here. Alright, so Volley 
Gain seven, coming back from the brink, uh, getting a third level of exhaustion. Ugh. Um, and anything else? Uh, tell the dead on the, the captain. Wisdom save. Alright, so you would fail, taking 20. Uh, and I forgot you were on fire, so you take three. All good. I will do all the things involved with that. But that will end my turn. I'll get all that stuff sorted now. Okay. Uh, so... Nasira. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna move off of Voli and take some swings. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use my staff. I activated the staff last last session. Let's let's do an attack with the staff. Yeah. Alright, so you swing with the Staff of the Adder, but he is going to dodge. And the second attack. <clears throat> uh, Alright, second swing. Uh, yeah, 27 will connect. Doing 15 points of damage, and that will put him to wounded. Alright, and since I did an attack action, I can do a single bonus action on our strike. Look at that! Woo! <laughs> All right, yeah, that's gonna crit. All right. Which means everyone has advantage again. Everyone? That was just her yeah, that had advantage. Oh, every attack roll has advantage. Oh wow, good catch, Onvir. Oh, against that creature, yeah. Nice. Okay, and then I will move back. Uh, off the flank. Um, in case anyone else wants it, that's all I got. All right, uh, seal. Oh, um, I would have taken fire damage. Uh, yes, 2d6. Okay, uh, so 10 points. Uh, seal is now going to beat on the downed, uh, fire salamander. He's not gonna run up for the guy who's alive? No, he, he's, uh... He's a little bit afraid of those guys. They keep uh, beating the shot. crap out of him. Uh, but that will kill her, just to make sure she doesn't get back up. Does he have multi-attack? No, he doesn't. I think he does. Doesn't he get claw and he? bite? Uh, yeah. So... Maybe with his claws or staff. So I guess One he'll come and up two. and attack he with three the attacks, yeah. claw. Nice. Uh, with advantage. 20 will strike, uh, doing six points to this guy. All right, so the captain... Uh, he gets one more, doesn't he? He gets yeah. a bite. He gets... Yeah, it says one bite and two claws or staff. Oh, uh, sure. Bite. <laughs> strike. Uh, for another ten. All right, so the captain is going to stab at your downed ally. Of course he is. No, but um, Anvir brought him up, didn't he? Uh, yeah. Up. Yeah. And he should have a little bit of temp still. Uh, Man, that uh, goes to the throat. Got mm -hmm. two people down this scum. Dead this yeah. combat. Alright, 19 is going to hit him. Doing uh, 16, which is actually still up. Nice. <laughs> oh, it's gonna it's just gonna swing at him again though, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, he's gonna do his uh, hail whip. Uh, yeah, 24 is gonna hit him again, uh, and that will put him down. So he. Mm, poor boy. No, I mean, has... it's better than him bleeding out and permanently dying. True, true. Because hey. with him being on fire, I'm afraid to leave him down for more than a round. <laughs> Uh, he is then going to move here, giving the Sierra an oppy. I will take it. With advantage. Uh, yeah, 18 will strike. 
Number six, and that would put him down. Ah. And I'll immediately bandage Voli. He only gets one hit point though, because I've already healed him with the healer feet this uh, this rest. So. Does he get one hit point? I thought he just stabilizes. No, that's the if that part of the feat is that he gets one hit point when I stabilize him. He just doesn't get the normal like two d six plus number of of hit die or whatever. All right, so the battle ends. You are stabilizing him, so he's no longer dying. Come, friends. Let's get out of here. And the uh, wizard, the flaming guy who's kind of just in the... Uh, what is this? Is this still up? Gone. Um, I'm honestly not sure because my... What are you concentrating on? It's Dawn. It is Dawn. Like, I know that's Dawn, but I don't know if it's still up because all my timers were gone it, when I launched up the game. It's probably down by now. See, so I'll uh, help yeah. you with LJ. So, as uh, the battle ends, we'll just say it kind of poofs out. Uh, <laughs> the uh, small child kind of laughs. He would say, as you see, these uh, these folks are not to be taken lightly. Uh, Takar or uh, Tarkana, um, perhaps you should just leave. And he says, They may have beaten my troops for now, but I still own this place, and I will find where them and their people are hiding. And then he kind of looks right at Anvir and he says, If you just give me the girls, I will let you and your village live. There does not have to be any more Ooh. bloodshed. You're dead, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just laying um, there dead. Bleh. I guess uh, right now you're you're kind of busy casting Revivify, right? Yeah, I have a scroll that I had made, which is now getting used within like two days of being made. <laughs> yeah, no. All right. Day. Uh, so I assume. Um, go ahead, cast Revivify. Uh. Yeah, I don't know if I have it actually on my thing. I just have the scroll prepared, but yeah. Did you expend the 300 components when you made the scroll? Yeah, yeah. I, um, I deleted it all off my sheet once I started right. making it, so I didn't have to worry about it once it was all done. Yeah, because that's an addition to the scroll's cost. You know that, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah uh, we, had, we had come to like 600 or whatever the hell it was to make it. All right, so you uh, use the scroll quickly, bringing uh, all of the burns on uh, Samuel to uh, to a stable state, and uh, Samuel awakens. <sighs> Brought Who is back this from Samuel? The Samuel. <laughs> Our LJ. Uh, I'm not doing that again. So oh, is this guy? Is the image still hovering over here? Yeah. So basically, that's what he said to. Uh, well, he said that to Anvir as uh, he was bringing Samuel back. Who's the Samuel you speak of? You know what I mean. Leo Jr. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, I doused myself, so I'm not on fire. Yeah, Same. I assume all of us are quickly <laughs> dousing ourselves. Yeah, oh, and I would uh, return. I do have to I do one more round of fire to each of you. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, that's bad. So, it wouldn't matter for Leo Jr. because he was dead, but... Um, Let's see, Anvir. You would have taken another eight. And Nasira, you would have taken another seven. Okay. I um, return both my staff and my bracelet to inanimate form. Uh, so as uh, he says this, Diedrich says, uh, don't listen to him. You've already beaten his uh, enemies. Just leave this place before he brings more of them. He's just trying to stall you. He says, uh, it is an actual offer. He says, I have no qualms with you or your people. I just need the girls. But those are our people. He says, is it worth it to lose your whole settlement for three young women they are not ours to give you can go die already i've been there i don't like it but you can go there uh, you don't i'm pretty sure you're still unconscious revivify doesn't bring you back with like hip, it like 
Oh, in that case, I would. One, uh, three hit point. Yeah, one hit that, point. Wait, okay, yeah. it was one hit. Yeah. Uh, actually, yeah. LJ, LJ still has a bandage for today, so he gets more than one. No, oh, yeah. Ah, I'm healed. And I pull out another pack of. Do I have more? So, I think Voli. Yeah, I have, I have five full healers kits, so I pull, pull one out of my backpack and. Voli is at half health. He can still move. He hasn't hit five yet, so he's not unable to move, but he's looking very bad. Half speed, you mean? Uh, well, Voli at level, I think, five becomes unable oh, to half move. Health. Yeah, he's yeah, at no, half no, health. I get what you meant. Max Four gives well, him yeah. max hit point reduction to one half is normal. God, he's at four. Dear God. Uh, so the uh, floating Takana, Takana Reeve will say, uh, consider my offer. He says, I shall be here and uh, I will accept them if you bring them. But if you don't, I shall hunt you and your people and then I'll they take them people. anyway. They are not our property. They are not ours to give. He says, uh, you have my offer. Whether you honor it or not is your choice. <laughs> Fuck off already. Diedrich says, uh, don't listen to him. Just leave before his big phoenix comes. Yeah, I, I, I want to listen to this one. This one seems nice. Yeah, that's why Nasira said, like, come on, let's go. Help Hasil, help yeah. me with, help me help LJ. Hasil, <laughs> can I borrow your shoulder? So at this point, oh, no, Diedrich would, uh, turn into a crow oh. and kind of fly over here, hovering next to, uh, Takana, or Tarkana, Cut. with his uh, arms crossed as the uh, crow kind of flies around him, cawing. Yeah, I think we're just legging it for the... We'll get Sol to carry Volley. <laughs> Alright, so you don't bother uh, doing anything with the downed enemies, you just go? I mean... Go. I'm going. Do, we see, do I see any clear evidence of the phoenix <laughs> coming? Uh, you uh, hear we... a bunch of... Uh, stuff in the cave you don't see the phoenix yet yeah it's like in i want to get the essence sure but like i think he just means like in general like oh the, gotcha yeah, that's right everything you don't like, actually yeah. have to move your uh tokens to the edge of the map oh, okay. i'm just gonna delete you yeah so we had yeah. to the marine entrance all right i think but... it would be nice to collect the essence but i think we're scared of time well, no, that, plus we just made a valid distraction concern. with the intention of drawing all the elementals in the city this way. So, <laughs> yeah, you would expect reinforcements are probably on the way. Uh, yeah, I think we get going. All right, so you think better of it, fleeing the scene, as you uh, see the two mysterious figures uh, kind of getting smaller behind you, the crow and this fiery wizard. Uh, and you also see several groups of elementals now flying towards you. Run, run, run. Run, yeah. run, run. Yeah, we go into the cave, the mine entrances, and hoof it to the to the ship. How many people are in the mine? Enough to fit on the ship, right? Well, we we already sent them to the ship, remember? D Dosha went to take them to the ship when we found, like, Otto and everyone. Yeah, that's right. I couldn't remember if it was like wait. Yeah, and even if it's a little cramped, it's just it's just temporary. We just need a GTFO. <laughs> uh, all right. So I could do ascending see if Gara got out, but yeah. Well, I mean, it's been only minutes since we made the distraction, so um, you know, if he if he was watching for it, they're probably on the move right this moment and busy. <laughs> Uh, let's just try and get the hell out of here, I guess. And we can't come back through the ca the mines again. That like, with us leaving this way, you know, we'll have to come back a different way if we do come back. So uh, we'll as you are moving towards the cave, you would see the phoenix and several groups of fire elementals coming in from the distance. Got to move it, move it, <laughs> move it, move it. I like to move it, move it, move it. <laughs> I like to move it, move it. So are you going to try to basically just outrun them? Well, I thought right we there. like I thought we encountered the fire guy pretty much blocking our entrance to the mine. So when we 
defeated yeah, you're, him. I thought we were you are like, close. I thought, you're within like a I, th I think like a hundred feet or something. Oh, okay. So you're pretty um, close. Uh, yeah. Well, we started hoofing at the moment Voli and, and LJ were on their feet. All right. So you are gonna try to run then, like out. Oh, yeah. Voli's being carried by a soul, and I'm half speed. Yeah, Voli and Leo Jr. are half speed. Right, but we told Soul to, to carry Voli. And what Soul can ca carry two people? One of them is heavily armored. Well, he probably can carry Voli. I don't think he's going to be able to carry you. Actually, Voli yeah. is Voli is not that light. He does have a decent amount of armor on because he is a really? fighter. Well, what's Soul's strength? Well, it doesn't matter. We're going as fast as we can. And it's if it's all days at half speed, then that's what we're going. I'm pretty sure uh, slots have done. Give me sure. athletics checks as you are rushing to uh, gain ground on them. Because if LJ's our uh, slow, then that's the speed we're going. Yeah. I would like to use my inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> no. Look at, look at you go. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Leo is just like hoofing it as he's limping. <laughs> I'm using inspiration. Cause yeah, I'm doing the bash whips. Okay. Yeah, you yeah. know that's acrobatics. Oh. Uh, yeah. All right. I'm really glad I used Inspo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those are right. decent rolls. So, okay. uh, Bully is having a hard time, but luckily the rest of you are doing pretty well, and uh, the uh, soul is kind of helping him. Uh, so you would rush forward as these things gain ground, uh, running into the mine. And I assume you're just going to hoof it as quickly as possible deeper underground. Yep. Straight yep. to the ship. Do you want to try to just keep running really fast? Or do you want to try to maybe like mislead and lose them in the mines using uh, stealth or survival? Oof. You I don't mean, think the Phoenix can about, fit in here. Yeah, but. actually, yeah. Let, let You guys go ahead. I'm faster than anyone here. So you guys go ahead. I'll take a couple turns um, doing some some misleading, survival-y, tracky stuff. Okay. Yeah, the rest of us run. Nasira distracts them. All right, so if kind Nasira of. is doing it alone, she would have to use survival. There you go. And remember, <laughs> my speed is 50, but I don't have any key points for Step of the Wind. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but you can dash. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'll, I'll use a couple actions to do survival-y stuff, misleady stuff, and All then right. a, a couple actions to dash and catch back up to my party. Uh, hang on. Let's see how this resolves. So the group is rushing ahead as you're uh, basically trying to cover the tracks and mislead. Um, you would hear the elementals getting closer. Uh, at this point... They might see you um, unless you use stealth, or you could try to again like outrun them. But that might lead. Wait, the... are they getting closer to me or to everyone? Did just, I mislead them? Just to you, yeah. You misled them. Oh, okay. Then, oh. then yeah, I'll try some stealth. All right. I'll try to lose them once they've followed my false path. All right. So uh, as they are kind of coming towards the area oh. that you went down. Let me stealthy. Let me see. Is there a perception? I can't That'd be amazing. No. I'm probably using a thread to take as many. I right, know. Uh, yeah, the elementals are not expert trackers or anything. Uh, so even yeah. with your poor roll, you were able to. Well, even if they saw me, I think I might have been out able to outrun them. But, <laughs> but yeah, I'm yeah. glad they didn't. <laughs> yeah. They may have uh, gotten you trapped or something, but luckily you were mm -hmm. able to sneak past them as they're kind of going down the side tunnel, quickly trying to uh, find the rest of your people. There's about okay. 20 of them in here now. Uh, but yeah, you sneak past them, and uh, you would meet back up with your group a little while later uh, at the mine car, or no, at, at your ship. And I think you yeah. have a bunch of people here too. Don't you have... Yeah, uh, so Dosha led Otto and the miners that had been sheltering in the caves down to the ship when we first got here. Yeah, so, so they're all looking very nervous as they heard all that noise coming from up above. On the ship. On the ship. I'm pretty Elden sure Elden all Elden three Elden. girls are on the ship as well. They are, yeah. they are. Eldwin, get us out of here. 
<laughs> on the ship, on the ship, run, run. Yep. Right. As, soon as, they, they, as soon as they see us, uh, uh, LJ just doing, on the ship, on the ship, on the ship. It's like that scene from Indiana Jones. Start the plane! <laughs> Start the plane, yes. shock. Alright, uh, so the ship is going to burrow away. I assume Let's heading... Name it chopper so we can say, get to the chopper! Get to the chopper. Yes. Get to the chopper! <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you're heading to last light? Um, probably not directly, in case we're being tracked. Let's... Uh, see, can Eldwin try and steer just somewhere a little bit away? Well, and we can stop and regroup and rest. I mean, the ship doesn't leave uh, solid tunnels behind it. Okay. So it's hard to track the ship. Well, like okay. after it's been moving for a while. All right. So then between the group's survival skills and Eldwin's um, skills with the ship, let's just. Yeah, let's try. Guys, think we should go back to Last Light and warn them. I here's my only reason that I think maybe evasive maneuvers this one time would be a good idea. So <laughs> Eldwin is going to just start, um, as True, he does not want to stay here. So the yeah. ship will begin to move as you guys talk about where you want it to go. He's just heading to Last Light for the time being. Well, let's yeah, start by just getting out of Campbell and a little yeah. away, but then. Yeah. Let's talk about this. Do we? It's a good I think we want to loop it a little bit just because we know they have earth elementals and worms, right? Or someone's got worms around here. Um, you know? yeah. That was that intelligence agency that they knew. So we, we don't know if they're still looking for us, or I don't know. And I that, don't know. Yeah, it's weird that one. Um, you haven't heard from them in a while. Do we want to try and contact Garo after a bit? Like, not, like, immediately, but, like, you know, after he's had half hour or so from after our distraction to try and hopefully... Yeah. yeah. I'll have to upcast it. I mean, I don't get any benefit from it. Well, that. it's up to you. If you want to wait, we can. Um, but I would rather know if he needs our immediate assistance sooner than later, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure how much our immediate assistance would be of assistance, but... <laughs> in our condition, but... Yeah. Actually, that's a valid point. While we're in the ship, I will start casting a, uh, a prayer of healing, but that does take 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, all right. So 10 minutes would pass. You can go ahead and cast your prayer of healing. Nice. So just so I can, I think that's up to six creatures. It is now yeah, up to six creatures. 420 in the afternoon. Right, so you uh, would all gain 15. Uh, your passengers seem uh, relieved to be out of there. Uh, you realize that that noble um, that you were going to meet today is still back at the city, unfortunately. Oh yeah, we could quickly go get him. <laughs> well, you'd be in putting yourself in danger to go back, but yeah. you certainly could. Why, it is on the other side of the town. Remind uh, the me. guy. Oh, the uh, one that's got the, the family under the manor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That was on the other side of town, but it would involve I me going into town again. Yeah, I think that if if he's in danger right this moment today, if, if the family, you know, has been discovered, I don't know that we can help them all that much in our current state. And if he's not in danger, us going now could endanger him, you know? Ooh, quite yeah. the dilemma. Ooh, oh god, I forgot he was here. <laughs> and for good measure, Rumpty shri shrieks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Motherfucker. Yeah, I, I think we're just taking a slightly detoured route to last light just to make sure there's no earth elementals or something behind us. Yeah. All right. Uh, and I would fill in Scarlet and Ellen and Mirren on this fire dude that where has threatened to destroy Last Light and Campbell home if we don't hand them over. They seem confused. Uh, Mirren would say, I have no idea who that is. Um, he said they mentioned something about the Seven. She shrugs. She says, I don't know anything about the Seven either. So, uh, Tarkana sounds like some kind of wizard, but I mean... Uh, 
I don't know anything about any wizards who've been hunting us. Scarlet would nod, and Ellen would agree. They all say, uh, none of, or at least none of us know who he is. Well, but it, maybe, uh, maybe it's some, um, someone working for, uh, what are their <coughs> names? The fox hearts. The fox hearts, yeah. Maybe like a mercenary or something. Well, I seems think he had a similar goal, but I don't think he was working with them. Well, from the way they were talking, they don't. They sound. Well, not the way of they, this world. Yeah, exactly. I was about to say the way they were talking, it sounded like not only were they from another plane, but they were still on that plane because Diedrich did say neither of them were actually there. Well, mm -hmm. it seems clear that um, your abilities are even more valuable than we imagined before and that more people have learned of them. Do, oh. does, do any of us have contacts that might have some information or know? Well, like, there was that you, secret like, intelligence like, agency we met that Voli was talking about. Mm. So this Maybe. whole attack, the, the destruction of the town, it's it's all our fault? The no, city... it's not your fault. It's the fault of those who made the attack. But um, it's clear that they have plans that they are willing to... Uh, give me a persuasion. To... Can I help with that? Because I was also just like, no, of course it's not your fault. It's it's the, those that cause the destruction. Oh god, you don't need help. Yeah. <laughs> help? What's I, that? I don't know. Everywhere we go, it seems like destruction follows. And what do you think people people who would cause such destruction to get what they want? What kind of destruction do you think they will cause when they acquire it? I don't know. Maybe maybe if we just help these people, they would leave everyone alone. I mean, if we had. If we had just stayed with the fox hearts, so many lives may have been saved. You don't know that. Uh, give me another persuasion. And if you want to be helping maybe. her, you have to be talking during this. Maybe if you did stay with them, even more lives could have been lost. Uh... She says, I, I guess it's possible, but I mean, most of the destruction came with them following us. Yeah. I don't think they would have just been attacking people if we had stayed with them. Yeah, but the rituals, the rituals that they were performing on you would have destroyed you and given power to these people that clearly have the morals of monsters. Let's put it this way. You don't blame the gem for, for the robbery. Scarlet says, uh, I don't think it's our fault. Like, like they said, this is, this is these people, they're, they're grabbed for power, they want to have what we have. Um, this is not us, Mir Mirin. You shouldn't, uh, yeah, you shouldn't, um, blame yourself or do we, us. Do we Jesus know the that. race? They're all human, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're all human. Okay. I think we need to go to great lengths to conceal your whereabouts going forward. Even those who have um, worked with us in Last Light and here on this ship maybe should be told that you have departed or gone somewhere else or maybe not be aware. I, I mean, I, I hope you'll stay with us. I think on the ship uh, and moving about with us is better than you staying in any one place, but uh, like, it might be worth it for when we return to last late for you to not be seen or or and we tell you know we we spread it about that you you're not with us anymore or something like that ellen nods she says that might be a good idea if we know someone who could spread rumors maybe we can try to start a rumor that we have moved on to elsewhere i mean i mean we do know a whole thieves guild right yeah yeah. Um, we it might also be worthwhile to attempt some disguises, um, to change your appearances slightly, even if it's just a matter of new clothing and hats and hoods, um, so that when you are with us, that you are less recognizable. Well, we could make them look like elves. 
Well, it, it, we need someone who's good at, at disguises and makeup and such because uh, we may not be able to use magical magic to, to glamour them, you know, permanently, uh, constantly, recurrently, you know? Well, like, I was a smith at one point. I could make a mask. It won't cover most of it, but it could cover the face. Hide the main part that identifies someone. Perhaps. I'm um, having a hard time adding to this conversation because AJ knows something that could help them, but I don't know if on view would know something that would help them. <laughs> um, uh, there's a very handy magic item that would be good right now. So right, <laughs> I don't right. know if on view would even know where to begin about that. What about... Okay, so... If we spread it about right, that that they've left, and we make efforts to uh, make them less recognizable, then I think also perhaps we don't stay around Last Light too too much. You know, we can come and go, but who? Like, what's our le next lead here? Are we? Should we go and try and find wiser people that might be able to help us? with research or to figure out who these people are or that might know who these people are? Anyone from your order, Anvir, or or from Nasira's monastery or or from guild that that want to work with us? I mean, do we want to take a chance and reach out to them? I don't what what are what's everyone's thoughts? I mean it's possible Trislin might know I'm something. A... I, she is our law master, but she's also a law master of like Hildar's law, not so much everything else. Yeah, and, and my monastery, you know, isn't necessarily. Um, it was simply my my mentor's obsession and topic of interest that he studied the ley line magic because of his ability to sense it. Uh, I don't think it's something that overall my monastery would have a great deal of knowledge on. It's just the the one monk's passion. I, yeah. Well. I, I, mm. Yeah, again, Trislin, maybe. I mean, Trislin is about 650 years old. She might have at least heard a rumor in some of those years. Uh, I don't want to mention it because I don't like the idea based on who the person is. But I forgot her name, but she was the one that we had a whole conversation with and we spilled a bunch of tea. Oh, the magic item lady. The one yes, with the pink uh, hair. Oh, she, yes, sir. She knew a lot more than she was wedding on. And she, we left her where she was going to look for some stuff for us, didn't we? Did we ever follow up? We didn't follow up. I'm just trying to find We kind of left names. abruptly, yeah. Yeah, you visited her once. Um, talked to her a bit. Yeah. Then... A syllabite. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Get information from her because she oh, the, the only problem with that is, is it doesn't help going back to Revan's bus. Yes. Yeah. That's why I didn't want to mention it. But, but that could be an option. It would also be good for spreading rumors, random rumors about where the girls have gone because we could get the Thieves Guild to just start randomly distributing wool to just yeah. randomly. Maybe Someone... we could get the Thieves Guild to actually have some of their members disguise themselves as the girls and, you know, like they're staying in Revan's Pass after we've left. My mind immediately went to like a Shakespeare play where it's quite obviously guys in dresses. <laughs> 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 yeah, but they have such high deception and <laughs> such high performance. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, I think we... we I don't know that we have a lot of direction here but we i think we have some ideas and i do think lots of caution uh surrounding the girls location who knows their location and who can recognize them you know uh, are i think we can't be over cautious there you know uh speaking of over cautious i think we should all agree that we don't tell davian that this is actually because th this guy's looking for the girls yeah yeah i agree very... he, he might try to be rash in his concern for them and I don't we I don't just know. convinced him to stay behind yeah uh, uh, 
I do have another option, but I don't like it because I don't think anyone can pull it off convincingly. What if we fake their deaths? Oh, I uh, uh, I upgraded or I uh, updated your quest page a bunch, kind okay, of uh, sorted out your here. <laughs> your current quests and made uh, some new sections. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, making the three girls. Um, okay, uh, Kalatar's mate is missing. Oh yeah, we still need to help Kalatar. Uh, Cabin Mallow escaped from Campbell Home. Okay, um, which I think that. We can't really do much good with that, at least until we've rested again. Break Rebecca out of Lord Auber's prison. Oh, yeah. We left a lot of quests back in Revan's past. Didn't yeah. We? <laughs> yeah. Oh, just that I'm one. Uh, oh, that one? and uh, what was her name? Um, here, let me. Let me. By the uh... way, we do have some information that we requested that we do have to pick up from uh, the magic item lady. Well, we could also have Anvir communicate with her magically, um, you know, when... I don't think we should have him waste his magic or upcast his magic, but uh, it is an option we might have for future days to... to, to Who is this, sorry? Her. What's that? Which person are you talking about? Sorry, I was reading stuff. In care. The magic um, item. Yeah. Uh, I did just say the name. I forgot it already. Um, Asella. Asella, yeah. Asella, yeah. Whatever it is. Yeah. I think it's a cell. A cell, I... okay. At the very so least, we... at the very least, the main thing is hiding these skills in some way, Agreed. shape, or form. Yeah, I think we should not linger in one place too long, or or come and go too predictably, and I think. You know, I think the ship is our key to to keeping them safe. Um, no matter what we decide, you know, as we go about those other things, I think. Yeah. Um, can we? Can we? Perhaps when we reach last light, we can uh, ask about to find maybe a master of disguise and get some help with disguises, and. Um. Well, the other thing that we might have to get for them is a way for anti-detection magic. True. Um. Because judging by what those two did, they could probably very easily find us. One mass healed us for, God, it feels like hundreds of HP. The other one summoned elementals from well why would they ask us to turn them over if they're able to just find them i mean i agree that it's like it's something they should be able to do they probably if i had to guess they have rules that they must follow dealing with that where they are do you well, remember how obviously much they uh are hunting us because they have a bunch of people in the city our city that was just destroyed um, do we, he um, also much, spelled that out for us. How much did we tell Asel? Did we tell her about the girl's abilities? I think we had said that they could see ley lines, but I don't think we brought up that whole thing where there's potentially a safe spot on the surface. I don't yes. think we brought that bit up to her. Yes, that is correct. Um. So, this is... I'm, this is just thinking out loud. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. I'm just wondering if people, if the fact that the surface may have a spot that has the fires have begun to wane uh, and early, very early, uh, it, it appears to be the the key interesting point here. If that knowledge is something that multiple parties want to exploit or control or take action on what if we made it common knowledge what if uh, we well then i think more people would be after them would it just cause more chaos yeah i think would that would just cause, cause more, more people to be after them i i think also the main problem is 
I don't think everybody is after that place on the surface. Because remember when we uh, saved um, Ellen and Davian, they were trying to use them to power up some void stuff. Mm, yeah. They were trying to bring some dark creature out. Which You're right. Different different parties different. might have different I, aims. Yeah, I think talk, uh, talk, this Tarkana guy isn't necessarily in it for the same reason everybody else. Some of them some of them probably after the surface, but most of them probably after the ability to see ley lines themselves. Yeah. People wanting to actually utilize the ley lines in some way. Yeah. I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Return to Last Light for now. Figure out if Garo and Yuri got out. Maybe look for some disguises and start spreading the word that maybe the girls have gone off on a different quest on a different direction from us uh you know aren't with us anymore so, some some story um but then what's our next move do we want to go back to try and help um uh cabin malo tomorrow uh or more of the people from the the inn i think for now we should just worry about today and just hide yeah. these girls Last light, rest for now, and I think we figure it out while we're at last light. Okay. There, there, I think there is an argument to be made of maybe trying to find a place to do some more research into who the hell this guy and the seven are. Yeah, I wonder if some of what we've, some of the names we've heard and some of the things we've observed would mean something if we had the right scholar, you know? that would really well, help us, you know, if, if yeah. we could put the pieces together for us, you know? We could also ask um, a sale. I think it's she worth would getting back in touch with her at some point, um, both because of the possibility that she's gotten us knowledge or some magic items, um, and we could ask her about um, anti-scrying, anti-detection type magic. She might have some leads for us there that we could further help us protect the girls. Uh, uh, DM, I have... LJ has been around for hundreds of years. Can he roll a history check to see if he would know any item that has the ability to... Because Samuel knows there's an anti-detection... Yeah, uh, same. That's what I was talking yeah, about. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, of non detection. Yeah. Basically to see if he would know what that is. Uh that would be an arcana check, uh, to know about something like that. Uh oh, twelve. And I'm untrained, so this is an untrained chat. Yeah, so he probably is <laughs> the only trained one. I'll give yeah. it a shot for the hell of it. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense that you would have some peripheral knowledge of Arcana with your your origin and your your class and stuff, you know. I know a little bit of magic because just because of the very small parallels. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so you know that um, there are anti-detection magics that can help hide people who are trying to flee from uh, those who are tracking them. Um, and yeah, you probably know that an amulet exists that you can uh, get that can help with that. I know it's out of my spell purview, like, it's, it's not a spell I would be, ever be able to cast, but I know those exist. Yes, I... Can we cast it on, um, like, would, is it possible for the ship to be enchanted in a way that all those within it might be protected, or is it... Uh, it actually, can... didn't we already find out that the ship already has some kind of, some non-detection properties? Uh, that's what that woman said to you, the Worm Rider. Ah, well, that's that's, she said, a, that's what adds to the reasons to keep them on the ship. Um, she's that's yeah. why she said she had to like track you guys, which took her a long time to find you. Yeah, so I think maybe they can't be found on the ship. So it's only yeah, we just keep describing. them on the ship. And what I said, it's worst case scenario, which also um, could be why he was asking to, for us to hand them over because he couldn't detect them because they were on the ship. Do you remember how many miners there were? It was like 23, 27? Um, yes. Yeah, it was 20 else. something. I read it somewhere. So, yeah, I think the yeah. guy does have detection magic and detected us, but couldn't detect the ghost, so he went after the next best thing. 
I, I, you know what? The more we talk about it, I'm willing to bet that's probably along the lines of what happened. Yeah. Um, do we want to hire some guards for our camp, especially if we're gonna make our ship more and more of a we're pretty much staying here as our camp all the time because it's the best way to prep. Do you have any um, guards? I don't think you have any. Know. You have NPCs, but. Yeah, right, we've been NBC, transporting a lot gods. of NPCs, but most of them haven't stayed with us. I mean, us. it's kind of weird because your ship um, has a its own carrying capacity because you don't need uh, laborers. I mean, you could bring laborers, but basically your camp is your ship right now. Mm -hmm. At the very least, if we do get gods, we have to get gods we can trust. Yeah. Well, it would have to be Candelians that that we. Yeah, maybe like the Yuri or Garo or Candelians or Knowles yeah. that, that our people trust. You know. Yeah, maybe we ask Garo when he gets back. Just say, yeah. "Hey, we're trying to find some people to help." Bring the ship. And we maybe a, a couple of Dosha's people would be willing to come on as as you know ship guards or uh, you know. I would. I mean, I, I think. Yeah. I think Dosha's barely comfortable being on this thing. Uh, <laughs> we're still on the ship, right? Yes. LJ would say, give me one moment, and walk over to Otto and ask if she would become a god. Or he. <laughs> Otto would become a guard? <laughs> That's actually uh, a good point. I think I'm the, me, I'm the only person here who knows who the hell Otto is. <laughs> Uh, Otto would say, uh, hoo -hoo, not really uh, looking to stay here. Um, I uh, have business elsewhere, especially now that my house has uh, been destroyed. Hoo -hoo. Must look for my family. Yes, sir. How dare you do this to us? Um... Yeah, I mean, you kind of have guards if you... Because you don't have too many people on your ship. You don't have any laborers. You just have your NPCs, really, in your camp. Yeah, but yeah, we I usually mean, we kind, kind of been, bring them out with us. As yeah, best. we've kind of been leaving Dosha, Steel, James, when he was with us, and Manasa as the guards for the girls. But Who's Steel? Who's what? Said the name. You said, like, somebody called Steel, and I'm like, who? I said Steel. Oh, seal. 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 Yeah, like sometimes, sometimes he comes with us, but we've left him on the ship sometimes to help be to, with the girl, you know, guarding the girls. So I, I hate to point out the worst case scenario, but last time we did leave one of them with a guard, that guard died. Yeah. To be fair, though, that man was more of a crafter than a fighter. <laughs> Um, and also, that wasn't on the ship either, you know, if the ship has these, if, first off, uh, during our downtime, more of our people need to learn how to operate the ship. Yeah. Secondly, the fact that the ship has at least some degree of, of non-detection um, features and is mobile and, you know, we can GTFO in it, you know. The, I mean, I think it's it's the best we can do. It's better than the manor, clearly, since the manor's been invaded multiple times. <laughs> yeah. I think if we do, we got guards a minimum of two. One of them who is able to drive the ship, and the other one to actually protect the ship and the people inside. I would that feel... start learning to drive the ship. Yeah, I would feel more comfortable if we hired a couple people, we pay them well, we make sure they're people that people we already know and trust, you know, feel good about. Um, and we, you know, we earn their loyalty so that, you know, they're part of the family, you know. But I, I would feel com more comfortable, even if it's just like two, getting a couple more NPCs for the times we do have to leave the girls out of our sight, you know, which is going to happen, you know. Yeah, because we can't just hire some random mercenaries that that probably turn them in. Yeah, um, and I think that uh, multiple people, both um, our PCs and NPCs, uh, our most trusted NPCs, um, we need a couple more people to learn to run the ship. I think honestly, Voli was terrible over there, and I just came back from the dead. Uh, I think for now, 
we just rest once we get back. And right. I think we should always and we should always take lengths to conceal the ship wherever we keep it for any yeah. extended period of time. Well, for the rest of you talk, I'm gonna try to catch some Z's before we get back. So I'm thinking about it. we might want to keep your ship separate from your camp. Like your ship might be a stronghold, but okay. Your camp could be like a normal camp, just like the people that follow you around. Um, okay. And like you can use the ship to transport people, um, which you could transport your camp uh, if you're going long distances. You'd probably want well, to. To be um, fair, the ship currently is in strong goals. Well, I'm saying the ship, um, I might want to put it under the Strongholds tab instead of as your camp. Cause yeah, I think he's saying it's already there. If it's you're going, there. if you're, uh, yeah, if you're going into different places that the ship doesn't go, you might still want your camp with you to help you move some of your stuff. Oh, okay. So on, on the Strongholds tab, it says we hired seven mercs. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that was for your house, wasn't it? No, it says on the, 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 I said the, on the ship. Yeah. Yeah. There's the house has got a separate column. I mean, I don't know I who last updated this, but that's what I'm saying. It wasn't me. I can tell you that. It says max occupancy, 24 people. And I'm assuming that's like comfortable to live and work with 24 people. Yeah. Like when we've kind of packed it a little tight, a few hours trip is probably I a think, different. Yeah. If I'm correct. Um, yeah. Let's just say 30. Halfling's name, um, one who made good tea. Say oh, thirty dude. people. Um, oh, um, the 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 bard. Yeah, yeah. Doodles was I'm pretty sure the one to update this. this yeah, was so his month where he did. It. You probably here. Let's just put the mercenaries in your camp then. Because they'd probably be following you around, unless you want them to just stay on the ship. I don't know that oh. we need ten. That's a big amount of our ship capacity, but I do like the idea of having a few. So we'll say you have seven, seven guards. It was seven. Uh, so I'll say yeah. Put the that your camp right now has seven guards. Who's Manasa? That's the Iron uh, Cobra. I just want. To remember that she's there because she would protect. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Um, you could probably, I don't know. Well, I was going to say you could put it under camp abilities, but that's fine. We can oh, just leave yeah. it there. Whatever you think makes most, most sense. I just saw Seal down there and I thought that that was similar, but yeah, we can. Right. It's fine. So the group is traveling. So I'll just pass some time. As the ship makes its way to last light, uh, it's uh, probably going to take about four hours to travel there. What time is this, like, five o'clock before the time skip? Four or five? Because we started the session oh, at four. It's 420 right now. Um, hey. Nice. Okay. Combat and then run. <laughs> Uh, okay. so time is passing. Oh, actually, why don't we do a 10 minute break? Because we're sure. over half, so we can cool. uh, stretch and relax a bit. Gone, Smiko. Tempted to have another cup of coffee. Did you drink that already? That yeah, was like two hours ago. What do you mean already? <laughs> oh god, <laughs> time moved fast. What the fuck? Yeah, it's seven. It's almost seven thirty. It was fighting and a lot of uh, interactions on the ship. Mm -hmm. 
A lot of stuff to talk about. Yeah. RPC. The thing is, is with our exhaustion levels, like, I mean, on one hand, like, we could go back and try and get some more people out of the candle. But on the other hand, I'm at Bully, two. Bully, no, they aren't yeah, yeah. Well, Bully's I'm like wrapped day. in bandages. He's like, I'm going to, I'm going to spend uh, a few days not fighting. Yeah, Sorry, Bolly's guys. the only really bad one. Like, LJ only got two, so he'll only have one tomorrow. Which right. is uh, Andrew, wait, do I take... Do I do... I'm trying to figure out how many exhaustion I should have, because I went down and cut that nat one. What? Did it's I get just... down three times? Or still, no? You were still only dead once. You, oh, have, like, you gain down. one each time you hit zero. So as many I, times as you hit zero, that's how much exhaustion you'd have. I get, and I only heal, and I was the yeah. only one who healed you, and it was only once. So you only went down twice. Huh. All right. So you have two levels of exhaustion then. Two levels. Yeah, I think we're unless you accidentally coffee. deleted some before then. Right. No, we had uh, like a couple of days. Pretty much nullified all the exhaustion I did have. Mm. Uh. Yeah, but we had a big fight before we ran into this guy, and we were hurting when we met him, so I couldn't remember if anyone had gone down. I was hurting, but not exhaustion level. Cool. The amount of fucking time my characters have hit exhaustion yeah. consistently. One of, one of the things with Nasira that one of the reasons I might consider respecting her is um, she's like great for the first combat that we encounter but if we encounter more than one you know like she she only had one key when we started that, that combat with the fire guy you know <laughs> yeah and all my pretty much all my superior dice was out of the way mm -hmm. I think that's one thing I did like about the the one D&D &D monk playtest thing they released is like they came back more often like you would always at least have a couple nice like yeah. they but, um the clerics and druids that i've played it's been even if the group has hit one or, or like two or three encounters without resting i it's very rare for me to be completely out of magic you know and at least yeah. on my mid high level clerics and druids and stuff so yeah i just I, maybe i need to just learn how to play her differently or, or try some different strategies on, on my, well, my key I definitely spending, know this. But... If Andre did not have that school of verify, I think that was the only bring me back from the dead. Well, if he hadn't it's had the fine. scroll, he probably would have had the, the spell prepared then, right? I wouldn't have had the components. Mm. Well, you would have if we hadn't spent them on the scroll. That's true, but there's no guarantee I wouldn't have used them on something else. But yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I do have a few religious components now. I forgot that um, we had turned a bunch before the Yeah, the but plan. we used them, I'm pretty sure, on the planet itself. It was only like 100, it. though. And we made more than that. I don't know. But I know this. If LJ truly died and I had to swap out, I would have gone Shadow Monk. Yeah. You would have gone Shadow Monk, so we would have had two monks. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but They've once, been... but once focus on healing and debuffing. The other ones fucking shadow. The, the only is... thing I think would be weird about that is we would have, like, n we would have no strength on the team. <laughs> yeah. Well, it might depend on the, the the guy who's just asked to join. See what he true. brings in. Yeah. True. 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 Actually, no, no, I wouldn't have gone shadow. Mark. I would have gone swash. Uh, Swashbuckle Rogue. Swashbuckle is weird to me. Yeah, I know. But Cause... it definitely... Because they're it... mad, like, they want charisma, but you don't get much benefit like you do from other mad characters. Like, if yeah, you but were the, the Eldritch Knight, you I... get full yeah. spells cast. Well, not full. The main but... thing that charisma does, at least in our level right now, would be the bonus to initiative and... The, Charisma doesn't uh, help with the initiative. It is for Swashbuckler. It is oh, for Swashbuckler. gotcha, okay. And, uh, pon wait, Ponche, Ponche, something like that, from... Uh, Panache. Panache. Which is... 
the, the main thing I would show Swashbuckler for is the other way to have sneak attack. And the ability to, uh, if I make a melee, I basically I, get a disadvantage. In lose games especially, so I don't know if that extra way to do crit attacks is going to come up that often. Like, think about this. How often in these games are you one-on-one -on -one with zero, with nothing else nearby? <laughs> Especially with a monk in your party. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because yeah. that that's the additional feature. No enemies, no allies nearby. Nothing can be nearby you. Yeah. It happened it happens on a few occasions, but not as much as I would like it. And Panache is cool, but it's like it's it's a taunt ability, which I'm not sure you want on a road. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think the net main thing is what th thirteen? Yeah. No. Fourteen. Yeah, because thirteen doesn't do very much. Yeah, well like thirteen is also just a very weird rule. You can use your turn to gain advantage on the next bonus action to gain advantage on the next dexterity, acrobatics, or strength athletics check. That's not going to come up very often. No. The next main thing would be if you are able to hear, you are aware of any hidden or invisible creature within 10 feet of you. Well, that's not a. Um... Yeah, that's the natural will thing. That swashbuckler thing is. I... I think from 15. What swashbuckler thing are you looking at that says that you can see invisible shit? Blind sense. That's not a rogue feature. That is a fighting style. No. No, it's, it's here. I level am looking. 14. Level 4. There is no level 14 feature. No, he's or... right. The it's not a, it's not a, a subclass feature. It's just a rogue feature at level fourteen. That must have you been get... a Tasha's thing. I swear that never used to be a thing. If you are, yeah, you're right. It is Tasha's. It's I think it's a no, no. It's not Tasha. No, no it's no, yeah. One of a it rogue says, came out. Uh, starting at fourteenth level. If you are able to hear, you are aware of the location of any hidden or invisible creatures within ten feet of you. Called blind sense. The, the thing that's going to be useful is Slippery Mind. You gain proficiency in the wisdom saving throws, which apparently for me, I make all the fucking time. I never played a rogue to those levels. Like, a rogue is a great class to dip into for expertise and for cunning action and stuff. Yeah. And for sneak attack. But, uh, and I've, I've dipped into rogue. Like, my 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 level 15 druid is has two levels of, of uh, rogue that's how she's so sneaky she's got a plus 16 stealth <laughs> yeah unless you see a full dip rogue so level 20 rogue that mostly pay with their ranges yeah it's hard for me to single class but there are classes that are worth it most of the full spell classes <laughs> my pally yeah. is my pally is single classed pally but... kind of cool because like you kind of want to only single class them because, like, especially if you're going like really long you game. Want those big auras. Yeah. Yeah. And like, if you're going, if you know for a fact your campaign's going to be twenty, then it's like, well, that's the biggest thing about Paladin is their whole thing is that level twenty. Yeah. Before well, my Paladin yeah. is fifteen now. Fifteen? Yeah, I think so. Fourteen or fifteen. To be fair, if you do go power, you could get. I think it's. The Pikin build, which is Hetzboy, uh, not Hetzboy, um, Undead Warlock, and then something Paladin. Yeah, well, Wait. my Paladin is, um, Redemption, and, uh, he's a Warforged, uh, that, like, he's, he's, he's a protector, he's a guard, he protects everyone. So, that's, like, what his programming was, was to be someone's guardian, and he, think... uh... He failed in his mission, so that's why he's on the path of redemption. I think, funnily enough, I have only ever seen people play Paladins as a multi-class. Really? Yeah. That's funny, because yeah, I was almost never single-class, and the Paladin's my only single-class. 
Because <laughs> the first time I ever saw anyone do any Paladin was when I was watching the first campaign of Critical Role, where their rogue ended up taking three levels of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then their second campaign, their Hexblade, ended up taking three levels of it. Well, I don't know. My, I mean, like, I don't think my, I don't think my Pally would be as good. Um, and then there was the the player in this game at one point who was Blade Singer and or like a wizard. I don't think my Pally would be as good. Oh, that was a weird. I was so died. <laughs> Where did that come from? I think it came oh, from Blue. Oh, Blue. <laughs> that was a really long delay. It was like a good uh, 10 seconds. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, so he's like, I mean, he's really, really hard to hit, and he's it's really hard for him to lose concentration on anything. Um, Like, his, his armor is 26 or something now. Well, and he's got like a plus 12 to his con checks. I'm sorry, did what? You... Did, you say, what did, you, did you say he had a AC of 26? Yeah. Well, he's uh, got... Oh. He's got plate armor plus two. He's got a shield plus two. He's a warforged, so he's got the extra AC from that. He's got like fighting style defense. Um, yeah, yeah, that would do it. I forget what else. There's well, I that, think there's that's twenty six there. Oh, is it okay? Because eight, because uh, plate plus two is an eight is uh, eighteen plus two, which is twenty. Shield is two plus two, so that's twenty four. Then one from your race and one from your fighting style, so that's twenty six. And he's got the devotee's sensor. Um, which oh, first off, first I know. Off, I... Yeah, first off, he does basically three d eight damage on a hit with it because of his blessed strikes or what? No, that's the cleric one, but whatever the paladin one is that adds radiant damage, enhanced it, smite. Yeah, so it's got like the the radiant damage from being a pally plus the extra radiant damage that's on the weapon already plus the normal weapon damage, and then he can smite with it. And if he turns on the incense, then it basically brings him back up if he does go down. Plus, he's a high enough pally that he gains HP every turn if he's under half anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> how are stupid in saving throws if you max out the charisma? How what? If, uh, paladins are stupid for saving throws if you max out the charisma. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah, having that. Because everyone gets the saving throw one and then an additional one. It's great. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Um, yeah. yeah. All right, you guys ready well, to I mean, keep going, or? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, just chatting shit. All right. Uh, so we were traveling. I was just rolling for something. <clears throat> Random, Random encounter. encounter to me. <laughs> uh, so during the trip, um, um, were we on there long enough to have a short rest? <laughs> yeah, sure. We can say an hour has passed. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yes. I got key. <laughs> so you can short rest. I'm gonna use all my fucking hit points, I don't care. Or hit dice. <laughs> oh, just remember, you only get half of them back on a long rest. Short rest, you mean? Well, your hit dice, you gain back half of them on a long rest. Which I think is, what, five at this level? Six. We're twelve. Six. Oh, six, okay. I thought... Long rest was all of it, and short rest. No, was it's ten. half. Absolutely. No, not. short short rest. You can spend them. <laughs> you get none back on a short. Uh, you just spend them okay, on a short. Okay. Well, spent all mine that I was saving up. I think you've asked this before, haven't you? I don't know. Yes, the rule is you Probably. get half of your hit dice back on a long rest, so you get six back per long rest. And, um, yeah, I mean, you can spend as much as you want, but you only get half of them back. It takes you two days to get all of your hit dice back. And the temp Unless you spend less. Temp HP stays until long rest, right? Yes. That is correct. Well, uh, Nasira's looking, like, a lot better, yeah. Well, let's go fight something. No, I'm just uh, kidding. <laughs> I, have, I have a quick question for Anvir. Was the Twilight Sanctuary long enough to give everyone temp HP? I don't know. The marker was gone, so I just kind of turned it off and let 
whoever I'd gotten it gotten. I wasn't going to try and push my luck on it. Um, but now that I've short rested, I can do it again whenever. Alright. Because well, I get my channels back on short. Uh, so during the traveling, uh, Scarlet is going to approach Anvir. She would say, um, I know that you all, uh, think that this is not our fault. And I, to some extent, I agree with you, but, uh, I did kind of, uh, think about what my sister said and uh maybe it would be better if we could be hidden somewhere instead of traveling with your city she says i do well, feel bad for what's happened to them i i mean you weren't you guys weren't even here when it happened well that's what i mean like maybe if we had been elsewhere and the rumors had said we'd been elsewhere, like maybe they would actually have left you all alone. Uh, so, I don't know. We've, well, we've been discussing a way to try and help you girls, and the, thankfully, as best we know, people can't seem to detect people on the ship, so that gives us a level of protection, at least. Yeah, I just, like I said, it just, uh, it doesn't sit well with me, and I know Ellen and Mirren are also, uh, not so happy about how things have turned out. She says, I've, uh, I think I've been through a little bit more than them as I was captured by the gnolls and hunted by several groups for quite a while. But, uh, yeah, I'm starting to just get tired of it. I just want to hide someplace and get off the, get off everyone's, uh, watch list, if that makes sense. I think that's definitely what we want for you as well. We want you to be able to just live a life without people chasing you. So she kind of sighs and nods and says, I'm not really sure what I wanted to accomplish with this chat. I just... Sometimes I just... you just need to talk about things, and that's fine. Uh, give me a persuasion check. Not one. I'm waiting for it. I have a story point, which I will damn well use if I need to. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, I use them. It's not awful. Ooh. No. She nods. She says, uh, yeah, it does help to, to talk about it. I'm just tired of feeling like uh, a victim, tired of being hunted, and tired of others being hurt because, uh, because I'm here. I just wish there was something I could do about it. And she says, but thank you for listening. And she would just kind of walk, uh, walk away. Let's give her a very gentle, like, just a very nice smile so she knows I'm always here. Alright, so that's pretty much all that happens on the ride back. You would make it to Last Light, re-entering your little community. Um, it's been fortified quite a bit under the command of the new leadership. I assume um, that we are concealing the ship somewhere. Yes. Uh, it's up to you. You could bring it inside or you could... It might be safer in the walls at this point. Oh, okay. If we can bring it in without causing damage, then I guess that'd be the way to, to go. Yeah, you can bring it into the settlement. Who do okay. we leave in charge? Uh, uh, Damien. Damien, yeah. Well, Except James everyone, to everybody else. Everyone here knows him as James, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, the person that I didn't know until much later in the campaign. Yeah, you never met him until, like, ages in. No. Um, yeah, so I guess, um, we let the miners and everybody out. We fill in the leadership on what happened, and we ask if Garo has shown up or Yuri. Uh, so, yeah, everyone's happy uh, to see that some of the miners survived. A few of them are reunited with their families. Everyone looks at Otto like, oh, God, he's still around. <laughs> that, that guy. Oh, God, not him. Not him. Not that he's guy. <laughs> uh, so, 
let's see. What did I note who you put in charge? It was James. I know who it was. James. Guy, uh, yeah. And vampire guy's advanced like, advisor. Yeah, I'm just trying what? to figure out. Did I write that somewhere? All right, I'll just put it here. It's Caleb. Caleb is um, it was left as an advisor to James. That's what it was. Too many K names. Califar, yeah. K Kaiba. <laughs> Yeah. I yeah, mean, I think one Calathar, on... I think Calathar's here too, but he did like he, he wanted none of it. Yeah, he didn't yeah, want he responsibility. And then there was another guy too that uh, who was it? Uh Dark Elf. Jin. Who Yeah, was it Jin? Was, yeah. Well, that was the original name he gave us, but now we know his real name isn't that. Oh, yeah, true. Uh who did you put second in command? What was the vampire's name? Uh, Caleb. Caleb. Yeah, the one I'm trying to date. Vishava. Vishava was the one who, like, didn't want any responsibility. Yeah, the the guy who's part of the Durden family. Alright, so you tell them what happened. Uh, James is... Uh, actually, both of them are a little concerned. James and Caleb. We don't tell James about how no, they're looking for girls. We don't tell girls. James about the wizard. We just come... We're just... Oh. Yeah. So you don't tell him yeah. anything about your encounter with... We, uh, we tell him, we just don't tell him that he was after the girls. Okay, so you tell him about him, but leave out the part of what he wanted. Yes. yes. So that yeah. he just randomly appeared and attacked you? Is that what you're going to say? Well, he was yeah. controlling the elementals, and yeah, we had an encounter with him. And we made a big distraction, and we're hoping that that gave Garo and Yuri some time. Uh, give me a deception check. Um... Actually, these guys have pretty good insights. Would it be a group one or all, like just one of us? Or? Whoever's, I'll say up to two of you can make the check. Probably you two. <laughs> yeah. So James uh, of nods, a little bit nervous uh, of this new enemy. Um, he says, "What sort of creature can't be touched or?" Uh, affected by magic and you say this well, this creature here. just attacked you for no reason somehow they looked humanoid enough so it could have been some form of projection I suppose and this was the one in charge of the elementals that attacked Candle so it best we can tell hmm. this is a new enemy that's all we need uh, where is James's picture Sick. Nowhere. Is he under we raised him from existence. Camp still. He's at the bottom of Last Light's list. Oh, he is in Last Light. Yeah. Oh, that would make sense because Candle is kind of destroyed. So, uh, Davian says, "Well, these elementals surely they." Uh, might follow the caves it might be dangerous for us to keep our people here uh caleb nods he says uh, indeed we should probably move uh to a new place um if they destroyed candle so easily if uh if they came this way they would easily overwhelm these defenses too he says, but where would we go he kind of looks to the group do we have any friends anywhere any other settlements where we could bring our people for the time being me as my temple i can think of that he says uh the temple of uh hildar to the south i mean that is definitely an option um it could lead the elementals there is your temple well defended i don't want to get your people killed i guess that's something me and you would have to discuss later i mean i i imagine it would be decently protected because i imagine most of the people there are like cleric clerics of paladins i mean candle home had heavier defenses than your temple because yeah. it's not a your temple was not like a fortified uh bunker yeah. or anything i mean oh. it, it would probably yeah. do fine against bandits and random attackers but this elemental force would probably overwhelm it what about some of the fortresses and ruins that we've cleared um, or visited or that the Knoll cultists were using? Those worth salvaging or fortifying? 
He says, maybe uh, for the time being. So I worry without knowing this uh, this person's motivations or his um, abilities, uh, I mean, these elementals could follow us. And Caleb uh, kind of gives the group a look, and he says, friends, could I talk to you in private? Damn vampire subtle? with these good intuitions. Is he subtle about that, or is it just, like, outright in front of Davian? <laughs> no, he just asked. He says, uh, can yeah. I speak with you in private? Uh, All of us? Davian says, uh, why do you wish to speak in private? And he would say, uh, I just have some questions about my old city. Um, and perhaps, uh, maybe we could, as much as I don't wish to return there, Revan's Pass might be a, uh, a possible place where we could go for the time being, but, uh, I, uh, I have some questions that I wish to ask them about our adventures. James other... seems a little suspicious of this, but he says, uh, that's fine. What other settlements are there within a similar travel distance as Revan's Pass. Like, would we know? Uh, well, Revan's Pass is pretty far away. Uh, there are other small communities in these caves. Um, nothing as well defended as Revan's Pass. Uh, okay. They have... Um, I mean, the, the three houses uh, could at least give the elementals quite the fight. It would not, be, that money, at least. Would not be an easy uh, attack. I mean, Candleholm was fairly well defended, but it wasn't at the level of Revan's Pass. So yeah, Caleb kind of takes you off to the side. He says, uh, I sense you're not telling our new leader everything. We didn't want him to worry. Well, perhaps you should tell me. Maybe I could give you advice. Why, uh, what are you leaving out? I feel like we can, like, I mean, he knows we're lying. We may as well just tell him. As the, well, I didn't know for sure, but now that you said that, the guy right. that was Shut after up. us I'm wasn't terrible. entirely after us. They use try to use us to get to the three. He says, um, "These are your uh, the the three who can sense the ley lines, the magic ley lines." Correct. Yeah, I couldn't remember if we told him that or not. That That's kind of the only reason I was hesitating, but if he knows, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't remember either. That's why I didn't speak up. Uh, you had spoken did... about it on the ship a few times, and he was kind of with yeah. you. I mean, he doesn't necessarily know what that means, but he kind of knows some stuff. So he would... He gets uh, people are after them. Yeah, he would think for a moment and say, uh, well, I suppose that makes sense. James does speak of them much and worries about them. If he knew uh, that they were being hunted, it would uh, probably cloud his judgment. And he says, but if these girls are the reason he's following us, then then for sure uh, these elementals could be a problem, as well as this Tarka, uh what's his name? Tar Tarkana, yeah. Well, we don't... Our, our, we intend to take them away from this place and keep them away from this place. Um, but we weren't sure, we, we were debating how we might make it known that, that they are not here so that perhaps that would take the heat off of this place to some degree. So that would be difficult though. Rumors can be spread. Um, I'm not sure how these elementals and this, uh, Tarkana found out about their location in the first place. So well, they weren't what, even in Candle when they attacked Candle, so... I think for the time being, um, we should try to move our people further away. It and you think might... Revan's Pass is the best option? He says, God, no. I just said that to not uh, make James suspicious, but it isn't necessarily a terrible option. Um, the only issue is that we still have enemies there. So yeah. any right. any type of uh, bargaining with the houses would be difficult. He says, well, the majority of these people are unknown to them. They would merely be refugees that bring skills and and resources. So you know, it doesn't how have far... to be us bargaining for them. You know, if if we are not liked in the town. How far away is the um the dwarven empire or whatever? How far? 
I can't remember. Darok Empire? We're like in the Empire. middle of three empires, aren't we? Yeah, so... Uh, the dwarves are... So the humans are southeast. The dwarves are southwest. Um, I think... Or wait, sorry. Is Darok... I think Darok is the human one. Let me double check. Is Darok the human? I couldn't remember which ones were which. <laughs> yeah. Garroth is dwarven and Seraph is drow. Gar... Yeah, so Garroth is the remnant... Remnants of the um, what are the, what's their names? The um, Therian. Therian, yeah, the Therian Empire. Uh, and you're not sure who the who the Darok at. Well, it's the humans, but you're not sure what the name of that empire is. Or I'm but not I sure know. off the time of the off the top of my head. Uh, but yeah, so the Garroth probably would be a safer place to go towards, but you all would still be refugees there. Um, well, he says the the suggestion of using some of the ruins was an interesting one. He says, I don't know where you've been, but um, if there you... There was one that was being used as a prison that was pretty well fortified. Um, you know, we snuck in the roof, but of course if you know, if guards are posted and fortifications are added, it was a, a solid building. Is that the one that had all the demons in it? Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Did we clear it? Uh, maybe. Okay, if we didn't clear it, I guess I wouldn't I, be... That's that's the one where we that's where we met Astral and cleared out those dark elves and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure we cleared it, but more... There was also a large troll infestation, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, well, it would be a, a good distance away, he says, looking at your map. I'll bring out your map just so you guys can But it would it. also mean that you guys are isolated if you did encounter trouble or if they did find you, you know. Problem there would is... be no help from, like, like there might be if we went to Revan's Pass or to the, the Darok settlements. We could try the old Shroom Shield Village. That's pretty like equal distance away honestly yeah but there's no fortifications there yeah it's True. just in the middle of the cave um yeah i mean if there's a this fortified tower is definitely an idea um yeah. the problem none is... of them are none of them are perfect uh suggestions but um yeah they all have their ups and downs which direction is to say again which direction is Darok and Garroth? Uh, so the Garroth, uh, which is the dwarf one, is southeast, and the uh, Darok is southwest. Uh, I so, mean, as far as the caves go. They're both so weeks we and weeks away. Towards, so if we went towards Revan's Pass, you'd be going towards the human empire. choose to keep going. Revan's Pass is towards the humans, which is, would be right. bad because they're they're kind of Where the after. Fox are. Yeah, they're oh, kind of after God. your okay. uh, the three girls as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now that I is... think about it, they also have the Steel Shadow forces at Revan's Pass, so that probably wouldn't be a good idea for the. Yeah, that's why. That's why I was thinking the Dwarven Empire might actually be the best place to end up going. And that one's southeast. And would take well, weeks and weeks. Well, so would the human empire if we were going there. Sure. But um, what do we know uh, en route to the Dwarven Empire? What settlements might we pass along the way? He says, well, I don't have maps of the caves, but I'm sure some of our scouts uh, know the area better. Yeah, um, that might be worth considering maybe having more than one target. Um, he well, says, uh, whatever we decide, I think we should probably leave within the next few days. If this, um, if this Reeve is hunting us with his elementals, I imagine well, he'll find this place before too long. But the problem is he might find it sooner. We think he has detection magic. He says, well... Do you, do you think we should move our people right away? We're still waiting for Yuri and uh, those uh, nobles to return from their mission. I think we might make this the last day here. 
Yeah. He says, well, we might need at least a day to uh, get everything prepared. I mean, I assume yeah. we're bringing all of our supplies and everything. It's not something so that can... We're talking about moving uh, the entire population of Last Life, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. we're not just talking about our group. Okay. Well, which is the survivors of Candle and the right. citizens of Last Light. Uh, right. High Guard is also here, so there's actually quite a few people. The people of High Guard okay. came here as well. Okay, was High Guard also here? We probably need some time to prepare because we forgot to get that food while we were running out. Uh, High Guard is yeah. High Guard is its own community. It's not as big as Candle, but it um is kind of under Candle's jurisdiction, like Last Light. So it was another small town. And was it also um attacked? No, they just moved here because they uh, wanted to defend one location. Gotcha. Consolidate. Yeah, consolidate their forces because they weren't sure if they were safe there. So there's a lot of uh, upended, unhappy people here right now. Well, let's. But this is James, where all the food bring, is. Let's bring James back into the conversation when we're discussing where we're going. We don't want it to be just Caleb talking with us about this. He says, "Well, I don't know if we should bring James in because uh, if you wish to keep the why we um, are running from this uh, Reeve secret, then we shouldn't well, necessarily we, talk we to him." No, he, he's the leader of this community. He needs to know that we are, that we feel that the, the elementals may come here and that they won't have trouble finding us and that it might be rather soon and that we need to consider relocating. We could. Well, you already told him have, that, but we just didn't yeah, we, tell him why that, that why they're right. coming here. That's what I'm saying is we need to continue the conversation of where we will consider relocating Let's let's bring him into that conversation. Well, if we do tell him why we're relocating, we could tell a half truth because we know that the elemental army was looking for something. That something is here, or is. But how would we know that unless we've, we know? We've already it is. we've already done we've already done the half truth. And we've already said that they need to consider relocating. I'm just saying when we're throwing out ideas of where we could go, uh, we would want James to be part of that conversation. Uh, Caleb will shrug and say, I don't know if he'll have any great ideas, but um, we can certainly bring him in if you think it best. So then, yeah, so we'd review kind of what we discussed about the the the, the tower that was the, the old the old fortress. Uh, and the um, or the possibility of going towards um, another settlement with better defenses. Um, I think we can safely give him the worry that we could go towards Revan's Pass, but that's more towards where there are enemies of the girls. And yeah, we exactly. Can kind of, yeah. We can pretty safely explain I mean, that. So truth, we already, that, the, 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 the omission we already made, like that's already been made. We can still have this conversation without having to continually lie you know who are you bringing on this conversation besides james and caleb or is it just those two um I no maybe... i mean I think Osha and calathar would be there don't you and voli maybe you guys? especially voli is sleeping in the caves more voli yeah voli, voli is does not want to do anything right now but lay down okay. um yeah, but you said you're step. bringing dosha and calathar well, they know the caves a bit better than the rest of us. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so as uh, you're talking to everyone, Anvir, you almost seem like Kalathar maybe seems a little bit annoyed about something with your uh, passive insight. Is it that? Do I get the idea that it might be that we haven't been looking for his wife? <laughs> you get a... You have no idea. You just see him kind of, like, thinking. Almost like he's thinking about something and uh, kind of sighing a little under his breath as if he's uh, conflicted about something. As you're all talking about locations. I, I won't say anything yet. Oh, I might wait until the conversations break down a bit. So Dosha would say... Uh, the cultist spot is well defended. Um, even 
Without the knolls there, those caves are not easy to navigate. The idea of taking that old tower and using it uh, could be an interesting um, option, though. He says, I, I don't know how much of that area is caved in from the earthquake. Um, and uh, we would need fertile ground to grow food or else all our people would starve. He says, um, at this point, uh, from what I've seen, the colony does not have enough food to support all its people for too long. We need to immediately get more food or else there would be famine and death. There may be some foraging opportunities uh, on the on the trip uh, uh, during the, the travel time uh, if we set uh, groups of people from the community from the from the traveling column um, to to some foraging that may augment our stores to some extent. He says, oh wait, actually, now that I think about it, there were those fertile areas of the uh, of the different tribes there where they had grown food for the cultists. So that yeah, might the... be an option. It, it wouldn't be close to the yeah. tower and those farmers would be at risk, but perhaps they could make f or grow food there. Yeah. Ooh, there was a there was a forest quite near the a streamwood forest, I believe, quite near the the prison, if I remember correctly. Yeah, where we met Poyo. Exactly. But, but there, there were, were also there. yes, True. there were spore giants, dangerous I, creatures. I, I did just remember a place that could be potentially safer, but we would need to get permission. Where? The the temple with all the ghosts in it. Oh. He the... says. Uh, that is a fortified area, but it's small. Um, the tower was much larger. I don't yeah. know if that uh, that temple could fit all of the of the people that we have here. Ah, uh, that's fair. Plus, the tower is uh, sort of equidistant from the three farms. Um, though one of the farms may have been collapsed with the earthquake, we'd have to, or at least uh, the town would have to scout it out and see uh, what was left. Um, it's a long journey there, though, so if we went there, we'd be committed, because at that point, uh, we would have used, uh, several days of food to get our population there. So, it's something, uh, it's somewhat of a risk not knowing what the area looks like now. What, how, how much, how many days of travel is that? Uh, it is about, so he would say, I, I would guess, with navigation, it's going to take us about four days to get back there. Is that with or without the ship? Like, what if we were to go scouting a little bit ahead? He says, well, the ship could get there quicker, but the ship can't hold the whole population. Oh, I just meant, like, if we did a quick scout job yeah, to make yeah. sure the area was good. He says, uh, well, I suppose, yes, with the, uh, with the ship, you could get there within a day or two. So you could get there quicker. Oh, no, he was just offering that we would scout to help their path. You mean help their path? You like, said that finding their way was part of the, the travel time, and so oh, well, the, was the, the, sh the ship out. The ship wouldn't really help them navigate because they'd have to go through the caves where you guys could go straight there. Right, but we would travel faster in the ship to scout the caves that they would be traveling. I, what and my report back was was yeah. Dosha was like it would be unsafe without knowing the exact like like what's happened to those caves yeah. and that that's more what i meant like if we were to go quickly check to make sure it wasn't all collapsed as hell how long would it take us to get there yeah he said it'd probably be about two days yeah just like a day or two yeah um honestly i'm so I... go ahead i don't know i think that there may be some degree of safety in numbers to be considered um in maybe heading towards larger civilizations would i mean the majority of these people are indeed refugees and need to start a new life and and we don't know whether or not i don't know um if if we were to go towards one of the empires towards larger civilizations then the the defenses of those places would help protect these people you know and they would you know. Well, to be honest, um, I don't think we 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 couldn't go straight there. We wouldn't have enough food uh, to make the journey. 
Um, because it would be could take months to get there through the caves. We are not close to any of the big civilizations. The outer towns uh, have our farms to help feed us and uh, trade with each other, but with this attack and the disruptions, we don't have as much in the way of supplies or food. Mm -hmm. um, I'll say uh, Davian or James said that. He says, How many so, people are in the town at the moment? Like roughly? Uh, close to... Let's see. So all three communities might be like a thousand. Yeah, I was just trying to make sure I had an idea of like how many people are actually dealing with you. <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe closer to like two thousand because it was Candlehome was pretty big. My main focus at this point is to get those who are unaware of what's happening here and and our missions and and some That's of the details the of what everything. Yeah, like to get them safe, to get them to a new place, to get them where they longer associated, perhaps by our enemies with our group. You know, they are a settlement of their own that is not harboring us or, or well, anything else that, that these people might be wanting, you know? If we do want to go towards one of the civilizations, James says, we could stop off at Hildar. They have a lot of food there, and uh, Anvir, um, obviously you are friendly with them. I'm sure they would... Uh, take us in or at least trade with us to to get some of their excess food which could help so if we're going south i think we should stop at hildar and speak to them and calathar or caleb would agree uh the knoll or i'll say uh yeah dosha would say i think there are also some leftover foods at the shroom shield village though not nearly enough to feed a thousand people for any extended period of time. Well, regardless of where we go and how long it takes us to get there, we may, our group, the Grey Wanderers, may be able to uh, take some detours or minor missions to go acquire more food and bring it back to the column as you guys travel. You know, we can, we can come up with plans as we go to continue to augment. Um, but I think. Davian would say, what are you all, uh, what's your plans? Like, what are you going to do after this? We may return to candle and uh, get some more people out if there is such an opportunity. Uh, and I think our next mission is to uh, go and see if we can acquire more knowledge about these these figures that we've encountered, the names that were used, the types of magics that we're finding. I believe we need to seek out some scholars and uh, Anvir's mentor is, is, is one that we may start with, but uh, there's a few, we have a few ideas of where we might seek some knowledge. Uh, we need to try and figure out what we're up against here. Actually, we do have, a, I don't know, how old you are, sorry, Caleb, but you are a vampire who's quite feasibly heard some things in his years, and we also have an adult dragon here. Have either of you two ever heard of the Seven? So, Caleb and Calathar sort of look at each other, and Caleb would say, uh, Calathar's a dragon, and Calathar, yeah. like, uh, gets a little smile at the edge of his, at the edge of his mouth. Uh, and he says, uh, I've never heard of the Seven. Um, I'm, uh, let's see, how old is he? He's an adult dragon, so he's probably about similar age to Caleb, like around 200-ish. I think, uh, I forget the ages of adult to, uh, ancient, but, yeah. He says, I don't know uh, who the, the, these people are, um, but, uh, they seem to be some sort of human wizards from what you, uh, describe them. So I doubt they could be that powerful. Oh yes, they also called us something called Zaitian. <laughs> or Zaitian. They all just shrug. I have no idea what that is. Does that mean anything to you all? I I think actually Eldwin passed a test to know that it was like some vague lore about it. And they just shrug and he says, Well, whatever uh whatever these people are seeking you, I'm not sure. 
if uh, that's relevant to our current decision. Um, he says, well, so the adults, the adults are between 101 and 800 years. Oh, really? That that old? All right. So maybe Calthor is a little older. I'll say he's like 400. He's double okay, Caleb's over age. Over 100 or over 800, it says is ancient. Okay. So yeah, Cal oh, Calithar uh, probably was born around the start of the Cataclysm, or like 100 years after, since it's like 500 years since the uh, fires. Uh, so, yeah, he would say, now I, I haven't really heard of any, um, what did you call them, the followers of the Red Wizard? Uh, no, I didn't say that. I said the Seven, and I said they called us Saitian. Okay. He says, I don't know, the Seven, that's kind of vague. That could mean a bunch of different things. I don't know of any group calling themselves the Seven. But the guy, the fire guy, mentioned a name, didn't he? And called him the Red Wizard? Did, 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 did he use those terms with us? I think they did mention the Red Wizard. Um, so assuming that the Sierra caught the words and remembered them, then I assume I would share those words. But obviously, uh, they don't mean anything to her. She she rolled poorly on when we did the history check or whatever. They're kind of check. Yeah. Uh, did Samuel have anything to say? He's been kind of quiet. No, not really. He's just kind of listening. He's listening. just waiting to punch something. Yes. Well, well I'm sure that... he has some investment in this community's uh, fate, especially since his boyfriend is uh, leading it. <laughs> Not yet, if I'm right. <laughs> He's second in Not charge. Advisor. Potential He's just advising. boyfriend. Advisor, yeah. He's peripherally helping lead it. <laughs> Davian would say, um, I know you have also been looking into the ley lines. And um, I think you did tell Davian about the stuff with the surface, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So, all the stuff that the girls have learned and sensed and yeah. stuff, he definitely would know about. So he would say, uh, I know you've been looking into the ley lines. Have you made any progress on that front? I mean, if there is uh, a path we could take towards uh, what you had spoken about, maybe we could find a whole new home. And Caleb I imagine would, Caleb is looking very interested. Yeah, Caleb would say, yeah. what, what do you mean by that? What's... Uh, what, what have these girls discovered? And Davian would uh, say, well, I will leave that decision uh, of whether to mention it up to the uh, Grey Wanderers, as they are the it's ones a, who uh, discovered the information. The, the only reason we haven't looks at you. Uh, the only reason we haven't really brought it up or tried to actually go through with anything with it is because there's not much evidence that it's actually even real. Well, now you're a... speaking in yeah. vagueness, Caleb says, what is real? A place. On, uh, I, mean, I think we're kind of backed into a corner of telling him at the moment. No, so we don't even know. We don't even know. We, we, we don't know what it means. It's just simply that there seems to be some, some shifting and, 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 and waning of power in certain ley lines that may indicate that 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 some of the fires and power of the cataclysm is is changing or being redirected. We we don't know. It's all supposition. That's why we're being vague. You did is that what you said? Yeah, th I mean this is so, part of why we want to go seek more knowledge, find wise people and perhaps do some research. Caleb would say, "Well, I know nothing about the cataclysm, only that uh, apparently um the light that comes from uh, the upper world will instantly kill me and my kind, um, even faster than some of the spells wielded by your people. He says, looking at Anvir specifically, as you torched him a bunch with your sunlight spells. <laughs> um, so I am, uh, I'm not uh, uh, too enthusiastic about a settlement where there is um, permanent sunlight. Still. Um, I could always seek shelter. I mean, I'm sure there would be caves nearby. But again, we don't really fully understand the magic. Uh, there is there are many questions, and even if it's true that the the fires may be waning in some spots, it doesn't mean that they will be gone enough that 
the surface can be occupied anytime soon. We, 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 do, we just don't know. It's all... It's... Uh, the few clues we've received and the few bits of supposition that we might glean from it, but we're not... It's, it's not... Uh, we have no confirmations. Well, that's it, why we need. That's why we need more information. That's why we need scholars and research. Davian says, "Well, it might be best if you concentrated on that while we took care of the uh, community, but we do have to figure out where we're moving our people." Um, I think that Tao is probably going to be the best bet because otherwise, it's, it's that, just going to take like ages. Yeah, it sounds like that's the way some are of some of the present company is leaning, and I think that Dosha's people. And, and the Nulls as a whole could be very valuable resources on how to work that land nearby, and, and they know the caves of that area and stuff. Not necessarily Dosha's tribe, but, but, but many of the of the Nulls, you know, that, that allied with us were from that area. Uh, I fear for the trolls and the shroom giants, but you might be right. This, uh, this might be the best option. Um, having fertile land nearby is... Uh, is going to save us and might be the answer uh, for um, saving up food to make a larger trip later. And who knows, maybe in the middle of doing some of this, these uh, other odd, uh, trying to find other solutions, maybe we'll find a way to get rid of him. He says the nomadic natures of uh, the different empires leave behind lots of ruins and we wouldn't be the first one to take up residence in some old place that's no longer used. Says, all right. Well, if that's what you think is best, uh, I will uh, agree to that. He says, um, we should get going as soon as possible. Um, have you been able to confirm that Yuri and her people are safe and on their way back? I guess it's been a few hours now. Should we? I will check right this second. Okay, so you can. We wanted to give them plenty of time uninterrupted in case they were still. Working their um, way through the. So yeah, I'll, sorry, uh, I'll have to do it as an upcast just because I'm out of third, so I'll take a fourth away. But um, I'll just send a message to Gary, just saying, um, confirming uh, how everything went. We're back at last light now. All right. Uh, so he says uh, it was a success. We have saved Yuri. She's badly wounded but alive, and we're traveling back to. Uh, last light. We should be there by evening. Uh, they well should be done. Here by uh, yep. Excellent news. <laughs> yes, I uh, reiterate to everyone. All right. Yuri will be an excellent additional um, advisor for the government through the new leadership here. Kalathar nods. He says, uh, "I have enjoyed my uh, interactions with her. I'm glad she's alive." Uh, all um, right. Yeah. Anything all right. Else? So. Yeah, I think that I would recommend to James to go ahead and get the people started preparing, you know, with he, preparation. He so. nods. He says, uh, we'll probably need at least a day to upheave everything and get ready to travel. Get the pack spiders all filled and um, tomorrow evening I think we should be good to travel. Okay. Um. Do you think that will be soon enough, or should we uh, leave behind valuables to leave sooner? He says, doing so could cost lives if we run out of food. Well, it might be I worth think, keeping the food. Yeah, food, food is food, and medical supplies and such necessities. I think are need to be the priority, but certainly um, there may be some heavier or replaceable things that you know, are, are less dire that, you know, it, it, definitely going as soon as possible with all food and medical supplies and those types of necessities should be the priority. Oh, well, yes, that's what we're taking. Only the uh, only the extremely uh, necessary tools, foods, and supplies. Caleb would agree. He says, we don't know for sure the elementals are on their way here. They're most likely searching the areas. So I doubt they'll um, show up tonight. Uh, it's a risk, but I think it's worth taking. It's better than running out of food and having your people starve in the caves. Okay. Yeah, so there is a chance they could show up if you don't leave tonight. I think we're in agreement, though, that 
I mean, if we if we leave tonight, then but we don't leave a lot of it'll, stuff make, it'll make the journey. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know that it. You'd be leaving a lot of valuables behind, but yeah. All right, so you're taking a risk. Gotcha. Uh, all right, so that's pretty much all they have to say, unless any of you want to continue speaking to them about something. I could just start passing time. Uh, if, if the conversation is starting to break apart, then I'll probably try and talk to Calathar quickly. Um, like off to the side, or just like just off to the side. Hey, that's my boyfriend. How dare you? Uh, no, that's Caleb. Dragon? Caleb. Yeah, as far I as I know, care. you're not dating Calathar. Maybe he's maybe he's trying to date both yeah, of them. He's... Uh, <laughs> so the one that my insight. Picked up. If you uh, ask him, like uh, over kind of in private, he says, uh, "What do you mean?" You just seem, I don't know, a little stressed or down. Give me a persuasion check. He says, I'm not stressed. I'm a dragon. I don't get down. <laughs> I'm a twig. <laughs> I'm a dragon. 18. Yeah, he seems a little annoyed. He says, uh, look, it's nothing, all right? Just don't worry about it. I kind of want to push, but I don't at the same time. But please know that you can always talk to us if something's troubling you. And we, we are still keeping an eye out for your mate in case we ever see her. Uh, give me another persuasion check. I'll do a story point on my list. All right, reroll. Uh, so he would say, uh, it's unlikely I will see her again. I just hope she is doing well. But my, uh, my discomfort during the conversation, which I'm annoyed that you even noticed, this is your, uh, your ability to perceive uh, emotion is uh, a pain in my ass. You know that? I get that a lot, yes. He says, perhaps you should keep it to yourself more often. But anyway, uh, I might have another option for your people. He says, uh, my lair. Or my former lair. It's well defended cool. on high ground within the caves. Um, and there is fertile land and water nearby. I can get why that was a hard thing for you to try and bring up, especially with what we know. He says, uh, there are some uh, kobolds in the area that used to worship me. They could also provide uh, some help in the defenses. I don't know if it's as well defended as your tower, but um, it could be another option. I just don't like the thought of all these humans living there. He says, my lair was beautiful back when I was using it, and I do miss it. I had hoped to return to it someday, though not with all you people. I can understand that. If everyone's home is their sanctum. So still, still, I've grown sort of fond of of these, uh, these candle home citizens and your group, so... I suppose I'd rather see you uh, survive there than die in the caves through starvation or some uh, force of elementals destroying you. If you're willing, it would be probably a good place. And how far away is your lair? He says you'd have to follow the river south. Um, it's about uh, two weeks. He says, it is in the middle of nowhere, too, so it would be harder for any uh, force to find. It's not near any of the roads you humanoids use. But it is a bit of a journey. I don't know how much food you have. And I'm still, even, uh, I'm still not even sure I want you to go there. You just 
as I said, have an annoying habit of poking and uh, knowing when I'm thinking things. I've got very good eyes and annoys a lot of people. A trail? <laughs> he says, uh, can't you just take them to this tower? If that's what you'd prefer us to, I, I don't want to make you uncomfortable, Galatha. You've been a great friend to us. There you go, hitting me with guilt again. Give me a persuasion <laughs> check. The funny thing is, it wasn't even meant to be a yeah, guilt That was just him genuinely Andrew, trying to be nice. Andre's just being genuine here. Yeah. Andre's just a really nice guy. That's not how Calathar <laughs> thinks. He just has like this really kind grin on, and he's like, I hate this guy. Yeah, he says, uh, I'll think about it. I guess you can mention it to your people. If everyone thinks it's a better option, then I guess I can agree to it. I'll mention it to the main group, but I won't spread it to everybody else. All right. If we, if you do decide to go there, uh, I guess we can, I guess I can allow it for now, at least till you get back on your feet and get, get the food you require to travel elsewhere. I don't expect you to make this a permanent home, though. You know, oh, no. You can course. crash on my couch for a month, but then I want you out. <laughs> uh, I appreciate the trust that you've put into us by even telling us about that. I, I know a... I, I would know that a layer to a dungeon, is, uh, like to a dragon, is like a pretty big deal, right? Like telling someone where your layer is, that's a big deal for a dragon. Would um, do you have an idea of that? Uh, I mean, do you have knowledge arcana... Actually, no, dragons... Really. Yeah, I think dragons are arcana. So you wouldn't know much about them if you don't have knowledge of arcana. Um, I'd but, say, well, nature too. So either nature or arcana, you'd know something about dragons. Yeah, I'm not trained in either. All right. So yeah, you probably just know, like, legends about them. You know their layers have usually have a lot of treasure, but that's all you know about their layers. I, I appreciate that you trust us enough to at least to tell us that just nods says uh it's an option and then he will walk off all right so what do you want to do up uh, i want to do something cheeky cheeky bastard yes after that conversation as i'm walking away i'm just gonna quietly pray to my necklace um if there's, uh, if it can give me any clue to where she, uh, he's made my be, I'm gonna try and do a divine intervention if I can. Whoa. Uh, is this your once a week? Yeah, this is the. If it works, then it doesn't work for a week. All right, so you have a twelve percent chance. You have to roll an eighty-eight or over. Is it eighty-eight or over, or twelve or under? Uh, I usually like high numbers, so I'll say you have to roll over an 88. An 88 or over. Ooh. Oh! Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright. What was it expecting it to work? That's awesome. I want okay. his credit card information, I want his social security <laughs> number. <laughs> Uh, did you just do this out in the main area where everyone's like hanging out? I I might have gone. To, I I might have done it somewhere more quiet, like cl probably cl okay. like at or something. All right. So as uh, you grasp your um your uh, holy symbol, uh, a darkness starts to swirl around it. Um, kind of. Uh, going outward from it, um, filling the area that you're in. Uh, you would see almost like your, uh, your ability that shields, uh, there's kind of like stars all around you. Uh, give me a survival check or an intelligence check. I will do a survival. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> So you're not sure what this means, um, but 
there's a bunch of shapes and symbols within the stars. Uh, not exactly writing, almost, they almost look like markings of some kind. Uh, you would notice one of the markings seems to be glowing. Uh, give me another survival, or uh, I'll say investigate. Uh, give me survival or religion. I will go religion. Okay. That one. I'm waiting for it. That oh, twenty. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you think you recognize some of these markings? Uh, and one of the glowing ones, uh, now that you see it, you think are map points, like identifying points of some kind of map. Uh, and do you have any paper on you? I guess it wouldn't matter. Uh, so you think... Um, the map you're looking at might be a map of the uh, deep, and it might be a map of the area you're in. Uh, and you would see a marking over here. <laughs> um, but just as you see that, everything starts to fade. Uh, and you're not sure where that is, but it seems to be a point that is somewhere very far to the east of you. I am immediately like, holy crap, that worked. <laughs> what do you want to do as uh, um, you see everything uh, start to fade? You're losing I... the information. Uh... I, I imagine there's some kind of journal or something I have. I, I don't know, is there? So, uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I pick up anything that I see that is papery that I can pick up. Yeah. All right. yeah. Uh, so give me, say again, um, this time uh, I'll say either intelligence or again survival. Uh, as you try to uh, frantically, like, take down some of these markings to get coordinates. Okay. So many rolls. <laughs> so you think that the point that uh, you saw was somewhere near the edge of an area known as the Dark Sea. Ooh, scary. And do I have any knowledge of this location? Uh, not off the top of your head. You, uh... You... Yeah, the, the markings indicated that it's some sort of underground ocean. Um, but... Yeah, I don't think your character would have ever heard of it. Maybe, uh, give me another survival... Or, um, yeah, probably survival check or history. I got pretty decent history, I'll do that. Ooh, I rolled real bad then. Yeah. So you're not sure. I mean, of all the things to roll low on, I think I'm the happiest about that. But the Dark Sea is an area a couple of weeks to the east. So it looked like the point that uh, you got was uh, at the edge of this Dark Sea. And you might want to add that to your quest page. Your quest yeah. thread for, for this. Well, I mean, there I'll also put down that I can't use Divine Intervention until... I guess what? you could put that under Extended Effects or something. Yeah. How many days are in the... Hmm? How many days to a... How many days are in a season again? Uh, 91 um, or okay. 92. Okay, I was just going to make sure... Um, that it was still going to be in spring. Because there's 365 days in a year, I believe, right? Yes. Yeah, so I think either some I forget if summer or winter is the longer or longest one. But anyway, yeah. 
And uh, we are at the end of the session, so why don't we do MVP votes? Uh, Winter has 92, everyone else has 91. Mm hmm. MVP. All right, Hanvir with two votes is the MVP, probably because of his divine intervention. <laughs> that was that was a crap shirt. Like I kind of want to go rescue the Mrs. Yes. Uh, rescue more the, than more than I dragon. want to continue following ley lines. <laughs> well, you certainly can go work on that first. Mm -hmm. Although you probably want to make sure your people are safe before yeah. you. Uh, yeah. Just run off to That's do that. out of character. That's out of character. <laughs> I want to go rescue Mrs. Calathar. <laughs> Mrs. Calathar. Calathar, yeah. All right, so it'll be 9 p.m. when we end, and we'll pick it up next week. Good game, everyone. Because you did specifically ask. Hopefully we'll have our her. new player next week. We'll like see. With your divine intervention, Anvir, you, you specifically asked about her. The mate? Yeah, I, I was like, can you please tell me any clue where she is? Nice. That was a pretty specific clue. <laughs> I was like, hell yeah, I was not <laughs> expecting that. Yeah, it's a very large area she gave you, but it's some place to start at least. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Well, yeah, I'll uh, take some notes, but uh, yeah, I'm glad, uh, Nasira, you were here today. I was worried we'd have to cancel. So thank you, uh, everyone, for showing up thanks guys and uh yeah right. we'll continue next week you feeling any better yeah that's good i wonder Was there do i have enough relationship status you guys were talking over each other i was just saying was it something like specific or were you just like crooked just, oh, yeah, just a lot going on and just worn out. Uh, the lot get going on, I can understand. <laughs> yes. I worked a festival. That. I worked a festival last weekend. Um, like, there's a few. You do, like, you do like rent fair shit, don't you? Yeah, yeah. So there's a few. Like, obviously, in September and October, it's every weekend. But there's a few others throughout the year. And the, this one last weekend, this last weekend was um, a Viking festival that I work at. It, it went really well. It was a lot of fun. I was just worn out. Yeah, from what I've seen about those places, they're very, they're either one of the greatest and nicest places to be, or it is one of the most dangerous places to be. Dangerous? Oh, just because I've seen so many absolutely drunk retards. Oh. <laughs> like, that's more what I meant. Like, the people yeah. can get dangerous. Oh, the patrons can, yeah, I can see what yeah.